hit it. Where's Wiley? Where's Wiley? Did you say him? Where's Wiley? Where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Did you say him, huh? Where, 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 where is Wally? Where is Wally? Where, where? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. Welcome to a new adventure with our wild, wacky, and handsome hero, Wally. There's Wally's house. Let's see what he's up to. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Wrong house. Oh, here we are. I hope. What? This souvenir brings back great memories of King Poobah. He had seven eyes, three nearsighted, three farsighted, <laughs> and one short-sighted. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Whitebeard, <laughs> when's the last time you had a smog check? Well, so long. Enjoyed my visit. I'm off. As <laughs> soon as I remember where I'm going. Ooh. Whitebeard, you just got here. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Hey, time flies when you're having fun, Waldo. <laughs> I mean, Wally. If I could just get me thieving mitts on that magic walking stick. <clears throat> I'll tell you, listen to your wizened wizard's words. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh -huh. In the land where ghosts and goblins live, there's a vamp named Fang, says the wise and whiz. <laughs> to be human is his only quest. Whitebeard has spoken. You figured a rest, all right? I think I need a nap. <laughs> Gotta find out how he does that. Hmm. A vamp named Fang. Why would they call him that? Come, Wolf. A wondrous wild adventure awaits without. <laughs> hey, it's either the land of the nasty nasties or Cleveland on a really good day. There's only one way to find out. Yep, 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 yep. Hold that portal. Yeah. During today's story, see if you can find a scary bat that belts home runs, a ghost with a polka dot hat, a prisoner with extra long arms. I'll get that walking stick. Nothing will stop me now. <laughs> Now there's a carriage fit for a king. Or a couple of striped adventurers. Driver, take us to the nearest vamp with a prominent overbite. And don't spare the horses. At last, I've got it made. Almost. Uh... Oh, like I always say, Wolf. Half the fun is getting there. And like I always say, don't judge a driver by his carriage. You could say that again by his guy. Awaken, children of the night. Time for din din. <laughs> Bats, a phenomenon of nature. The only mammals in the world that can fly. It's our lucky night, Wolf. <laughs> it's a home run! Observe, Wolf. A 
rare South American fruit bat. <gasps> or on second thought, would you believe a rare vampire bat? <laughs> Where are your manners, Wolf? Say hello to the little terrifying monster. <laughs> uh, well, what happened? Welcome, little winged wanderer. Perhaps we could drop you somewhere? And so the peppermint bear brought a big birthday cake to the party. Oops, <laughs> wrong script. <laughs> for a bent stick. Hey, it's a living. A pathetic living, but a living. Sheesh, I'd be dead if I weren't already the living dead. Woof, observe his overbite. What does that tell you? Yeah. Precisely. He could be the fabled fang of Whitebeard's mystery. Or he could be a bat with a rotten orthodontist. Forgive my rudeness. We didn't introduce ourselves when you first dropped in. That's Woof. Woof! And I'm Wally. Pleased to meet you. My name's Fang. And believe it, you don't want to know me. Oh, dear. Why not? Hey, look at these eyes. Look at these teeth. I'm a blood-sucking, disgusting vampire. And those are my good points. And so, Wally tells this toothy little bat about the wizard sending them to help him. Huh? Help me? What for? Give me half a chance and I'll bite your neck. Trust me, I'm no fun. Oh, i give anything to be human. Have you tried everything? Look, Wally, there's only one cure for vampirism. It's on a scroll in Castle Dracula. Beyond that, I haven't a clue. But as fate, and this cartoon would have it. Clues? Clues? So, I've got clues for use. Yeah, I bet she keeps them in her clues closet. Yeah. Listen carefully. The room with the tomb is behind the portal with the turtle. <laughs> wow, talk about your bit parts. Oh, I'd better get what's left of me to the castle. Oh, ah! Meanwhile, who should arise out of that miserable wreck of a wreckage but the wreck of a miserable vampire king? Good evening and welcome. I am the vampire king, and you, Wally, shall be my next victim. Not wheelie, but hey, lunch is on me. You're gonna love, I mean, love this. Mama Waldolini spaghetti with extra garlic. <laughs> I love to welcome new victims. <laughs> Hello. Having a nice day, huh? Ah, garlic is the one seed that will stop a vampire. <laughs> that is, if you don't count sunlight, silver bullets, and a wooden stake. Medium rare. Just you wait. You women is women. I believe you didn't break my wedges. Oh, you see? I can't stand the thought of growing up to be a big pain in the neck like him. There, there, my little thirsty friend. I have the clue. The chortle with the tomb room and the portal. Huh? <laughs> or I have the room portal with the tomb chortle. Um... When walking stick is mine, I'll use it to swipe all the gold in Fort Knox. Ah! Wow, talk about a one-track mind. But first, I've got to find a way to beat those bestriped buffoons. <laughs> oh, welcome to Honest Hester's used brew lot. I'll stand on my face to make a deal. Looks like somebody already did. All I've got is three nickels. Mm hmm. Uh, throw in that pocket lint, and you got a deal. 
joke's on her. It was used, Pocket Lint. Joke's on him. That broom's got over 100,000 miles on it. I just turned back the bristles. <laughs> Meanwhile, Adla was sputtering off on an unregistered room. Volley and Bobby Gun, whoop, 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 gun, whoop, <laughs> approach Castle Dracula with trepidation. Trappy who? Hey, that's fan to you, buddy. How are we gonna find a tiny scroll in this huge castle? We'll just have to rely on our razor sharp memories. Right, Fred? <laughs> that's Fang. Oh, boy, are we in trouble. <laughs> Oh, I know how you feel, Wolf. I mean, this place gives me the creeps, and I'm a vampire. <laughs> oh, excuse me while I have an anxiety attack. Hold the attack. We're a riddle away from relief. Listen to your mummy. The room with the tomb is behind the portal with the chortle. Room, tomb, portal, chortle! Got it! Wait a minute, kid, there's more. The rest of your quest is in the box with the lock. The quest of the box is with the rest of the locks. of your chortle is in the room with the locks. Got it! You, that's the last time I buy a used broom from a loopy witch. Now where'd they go? <coughs> nice doggy. Nice, but mean. <coughs> Help. We'll search every inch of this castle. But I've seen enough horror movies to warn you Beware of secret panel! Uh, Wally! You might say our hero has reached a dead end. You might say that. Greetings, I'm Clyde. I shake the rest, but I'm pressed for time. I must find the box in my room with the locks. I mean, oh. Um... We have plenty of locks in our health club. What a co winky dink. I'll follow your stride, Clyde. Wally's history, Wolf. I got a great idea. Let's give up. <laughs> hey, he laid up, Wolf. A health club dungeon. <laughs> What'll they think of next? We interrupt Fang's binding to ask the all-important question, where's Wally? Find him before it's too late. Too late for what, you ask? Don't ask! Oh, man, I don't see Wally anywhere. You don't have to. You're not a viewer. It looks like we'll never find our hero. You know what that means. Mr. Narrator's out of a gig. Look on the bright side. Now you can watch TV without a remote. The walking stick is within my grasp. Oh, almost. Sorry, members only. I was just browsing. Get your hand and your hand and your hand and your hand off me. I'm a very important person. Well, pardon name wall. Allow me to escort you to our VIP suite. Oh, 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 watch it. I'm ticklish. This is our state-of-the-art luxury cruncher. <laughs> ah, be careful of those buttons. Pardon? Whoops, sorry. Oh, how are we ever going to get you out of this? Good question. Maestro, some music, please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
But enough entertainment for now. Let's get back to our show. Boy, am I depressed. Now, let's see. The room with the tomb is behind. But we aren't done with your VIP treatment. <gasps> oh, yes, we are. Oh, no, we're not. Aha! Doors! Another word for portal. And which door is it? You have three tries. Is it door number one? <laughs> Go away. We don't want any. You lose 50 points. Is it door number two? Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, you lose again. And he's going for door number three. Oh. Oh. Come on, Wolf, be a sport. <laughs> Eureka, it laughs. Better yet, this portal chortles. Nothing to it. And that's what you win. Nothing! <laughs> Who is that guy? No time for that now, Fang. You're going to be human before you know it. It's the room with the tomb. Okay, so where's a scroll? Easy. The rest of our quest lies within the... Box, box with, with the, the locks. locks! It's about time. <laughs> That's the Vampire King's coffin. Let's get the scroll before he comes back, okay? Well, I guess this wraps up our mystery. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> hmm. He's using my scroll as a bedroll. Nothing can wake him. Oh, it's hopeless. Nothing's hopeless. It's the first rule of all humans. The second rule is always buy shoes late in the day after your feet have expanded. <laughs> Don't be fooled by that finger in his ear. Wally's thinking. Ah. He looks like he's got it. I've got it. And so Wally sent out a batch of Batagram party invitations to all the goblins in town. Wow, just look at all the RSVPs. What with the fine vibrations? When I find out who's behind this outrage, I'm going to make him pay. With blood! No scroll here, just last month's copy of Play Ghoul magazine. Aha! Uh -huh, a secret compartment! <gasps> it's the scroll! It's another riddle! To change who you are, you must be a good sport. Get under the moon and cavort with a wart. Cavort with a wart? Oh, great. Where are we going to find a wart this time of night, huh? <laughs> Where else? From a witch in flight. It looks like the welcome committee from Warts are Us. In luck, I'll just snatch the stick as Wally walks by. Cheer up, Fang. Soon you'll be as normal as I am. Uh-uh. Don't try to talk me out of it. <laughs> Welcome once again, Wally, my tricky victim. And this time, hold the garlic. <laughs>
broom, but we are in the market for a wart if you've got one to spare. To change who you are, you must be a good sport. Get under the moon and cavort with a wart. So, you say you want warts? Well, you've come to the right place. All I need is someone to turn into a frog and a tip. Okay, here's a great tip. Never hold your nose and sneeze with your mouth closed. Gee, wish I'd known that before I threw my face out. Hmm, let's see. Who can I turn into a frog? Huh? Uh -huh. Aha! We have a volunteer from the audience. Any last words? <coughs> Ribbit, ribbit. I thought I ordered human. What's this frog thing? Ribbit, ribbit. As fate would have it, along the sidewalk sauntered a beautiful princess. Oh, wow. What a hunk of frog. Hey, I'm into frogs, okay? Mm. And so, the beautiful princess's kiss turned the ugly frog into a nerd. But what a price to pay. Hiya, doll. You want to see my collection of incredibly dull paper clips? Sounds fabulous. Let's go. My vampire nights are over. I'm a human. Oh, how can I ever thank Wally? Wally? Where's Wally? Where is Wally? Where'd he go? Find him fast so we can end the show. You can stick around for another ten seconds and find him. But I've got another show to narrate. See ya. Hit it. Where, 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 where's Wally? Where, 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 where is Wally? Where is Wally? Where, where? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. <laughs> Greetings, Wally Watchers. Let's take a glimpse into the workings of our hero's thrill-packed life. Uh-oh. Pardon me, but I'm just finishing my bath. Oops. Uh, sorry. And TV time costs a fortune. <laughs> All done. Oh, whoop. I see you're interested in my latest acquisition. It's a gift from the Ooga Booga Nooga people of the Lower Begonia, which is much like the Upper Begonia, only lower. An eel can generate enough electricity to make a refrigerator run. Uh -huh. Unless, of course, it prefers walking. <laughs> <laughs> that walking stick will soon be mine. Yes! Little does Wally know that he's being watched by that mean, nasty, loathsome... Uh... I believe you left out disgusting. Oh, yeah, sorry. And disgusting, Adler! Thanks much. <laughs> oh, hey, I'd like a large pepperoni pizza, please. Who? Oh. Wizard Whitebeard, nice to see you. Why, hey, hello, Wally. Hey, it's good to see you here for a pizza, too, because I needed to talk to you. I, uh, think you've made a mistake, Whitebeard. This is my home. Hmm. When did you move into a pizza parlor, Wally? <laughs> oh, hey, I'm glad you did, because I wanted to tell you that you're going on a journey into a fantastic forest. A fantastic forest? Great! Why? Yes! Why? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you are going to save the forest, and do it with fruit. <laughs> save a forest, big whoop. I'll wait until he returns and steals the stick. Taxi! Oh, and you'll use a magic priceless fruit. I'll stay. <clears throat> Listen closely. Clean as mud, don't call it quits. Because the back near one, the front omits. And still by more, the middle splits, 
You'll find your quest is just the pits. I'll find my quest is just the pits. Well, they can't all be easy. Phew. A little to the left and... But remember, Wally, you must beware of the... the... Hey, is my pizza ready yet? <laughs> Come, Wolf. This magic fruit is a plum assignment. <laughs> Wait for me! I'll tell you, you know, the service here is terrible. It's a wonder they sell any pizza at all. Listen up, Wally Watchers. Be on the lookout for a two-headed unicorn, an upside-down ladder, two trees in love, and a gray 79 Chevy with a dent in the right fender. Why should they look for that? Because it's my car and it was stolen. Well, Wolf, you're the tree pro. I'll need your help more than ever. Ah, the mark of a true adventurer, conserving his energy till he needs it. <laughs> what was that? Look, Woof, they're green, they live in the forest, they're women. They must be green forest women. <laughs> <laughs> While he's lollygagging with them, I'll nab his stick. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Can we join you? Uh-oh. Time to go, girls. The angle of the trajectory is three times the square root. Uh huh. This should do it. Sometimes I wish I would have been a dentist instead of a cartoon villain. Congressional Medal of the Forest stuff, kid. Uh, hi, I'm Green Queen Emerelda. See? It says so, right there on my ID. I'm honored, Your Majesty. This is my dog, Woof, and my name's Wally. Yeah, pleased to meet you, Walnut. Lee. Wally. Same thing. Pardon me, but what's happened to your forest? Oh, it's those evil gray knights. They're tearing up the place. Oh, if this keeps up, we'll lose our home. Maybe not. Do you know anything about some magic fruit? That stuff? It's supposed to grow in a lost grove. Why? I believe it blooms and ripens once every thousand years. And legend says that it's supposed to happen today. Hey, how'd you know that? I read that book. Trouble is, we've never been able to find the fruit. <laughs> wow, that was a close one. Aha! This much I'm sure of. This tree did not fall by accident. The current wind velocity of 6.3 kilometers per hour was a big factor. Also, there are these tidbits, too. Well, they probably cut down this tree, too. The evil Grey Knights, I presume? Yeah, just look at those helmets. Somebody's missing a lot of mop buckets. Who's the menacing fellow who looks as if he'd like to twist me into a knot and throw me off of a cliff? That's the evil knight's leader who thinks we're hiding the location of the Lost Grove. He's mean, he's nasty, and he could use some Under Armour deodorant. Those women are keeping me from finding the magic fruit. I must find it. Oh, oh. Excuse me, Chappie. My name's Outlaw. Who are you? I am the evil leader of the evil knights. My name's Fred. <laughs> Fred? What kind of self-respecting evil knight has a name like Fred? 
afternoon, Fred. Let's talk. Hmm. Let's see. Ah, yes. Fred is riding his horse. And he's getting closer and closer and closer. Now he's getting farther and farther and farther. Help! Let me go! Our queen, he's taken her. I'll be darn. Hey, he's taken Wolf, too. The queen and Wolf are kidnapped. The forest is in ruin. What will our hero do, Wally Watchers? If you'll be patient, I'm sure I can figure out a way to Fred's hideout. As Wally heads deeper into the forest, rest assured that he's figured out what to do. No, but I had time to eat a very nice lunch. <laughs> but what about our queen? What about our forest? Don't worry. We'll find both your queen and my brave wolf, Miss... Uh, pardon me, but what's your name? I'm Greeny Green. And this is Greenola, that's Greenella, this is Greenella, Greenilla. And that's Green Green, and that's Green Green Green. That makes sense. She's greener than Green Green, but not as green as Green 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 Green. But how are we going to get our queen back? Yeah! Ladies, please. I've never failed to get back a captured queen. <laughs> or save a forest, either. Onward! Hooray! Oh, let go of me! Just see if I send you guys a Christmas card next year. I say, Fred, since it was my idea to kidnap these two, how about making me a knight? Pretty please? I guess that's a yes. Ah. Give this new knight his armor. Oh. Good enough. Fits like a glove. All right, Queen Emeralda. Tell me where the magic grove is, or else. Or else what? I'm not sure. Nobody's ever asked that. Sire, allow your newest knight to handle her. Okay, madam. Where's the fruit? And where's Wally's stick, too? <laughs> is this nighty night for odd law? <laughs> Get it? Nighty night. <laughs> We got it, we got it. Get a grip, buddy. Get it. <coughs> yes. Meanwhile, Wally continues his search. <laughs> Nighty night. <laughs> Let's see. How did Whitebeard's riddle go? Clear as mud, don't call it quits. Mud. We're on the right track. Wow, look at that. Bear the living mud, our friend. Ah, yes. First discovered by Professor Otto von Slinker on Thursday, April 9th in 1821. That's right. Well, perhaps you've heard of living mud from the land of many soggy rains? How are we going to do with it? Say, I wonder if you know the way to Fred's hideout. No, sorry, but we'd love to help stop him and save the forest. Okay, I'll remember that. My dog, Woof, will be happy to show me. How? He was captured by that knight. <laughs> All it takes is a little bit of Mama Waldini's dog food and stuffing mix. <laughs> Don't worry, matey. I'll stop him. Woof loves it, and it tastes good in a turkey, too. Woof, old buddy, can you find the queen for us? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> It's a uniblors. Wow, Whitebeard's riddle. The back near one, the front omits. Come, Woof. 
Let's get the queen and find that fruit. There's no end to a clue like that. And on that terrible line, let's see how the queen is doing. I told you to back off, Buckethead. Uh, how could one woman do so much damage? <laughs> well, that explains it all. Excuse me? You fellows wouldn't mind if I take the queen home, would you? Pizza dough! That's Wally. Gee, Nito! Sturdy armor forged in the ancient Klepperman foundry. Pleasant fellows, aren't they? Follow them. We must find the hidden fruit grove. Will Wally find the fantastic forest fruit before Fred finds it first? Or will you find Wally first? He's in there someplace. Good luck. We'll be back. Did you find Wally? He's by that tree. No. He's behind that rock. No. Where the heck is he? Right here, attempting to solve Whitebeard's riddle. Good luck, Walleye. <laughs> That's Lee. Wall Lee. Okay, okay. I never met anyone who changed his name so much. I'd still like to know how are we gonna find that grove and save the forest? Simple, ladies, by solving Whitebeard's riddle. I wonder what he meant. And by still more, the middle splits. Huh? That's it! The stream splits in the middle! So what? Unless I miss my guess, we're here! Ah, the magic grove! <gasps> I don't believe it! You did it! You found the fruit! It was nothing. I just used Whitebeard's riddle and basic observational abilities to deduce the possibilities of... Great, Willie. Wait till the girls see this! Remember, ladies, whatever we do, Fred must never, ever, ever, ever find the magic fruit. He will now. <laughs> oh, why is there always someone using the payphone when you need it? Oh, fiddle-dee-dee. -dee. I'll go and tell Fred myself. Look at the bright side, Wally Watchers. Maybe Oddlaw will get lost in the forest. Well, I guess he did find Fred. Yeah. Huh? Huh? <laughs> What is it, boy? <laughs> oh, no, it's Fred. Come on, girls. We've got to stop him and save the forest. To the trees, girls. Don't let him find the grove. Charge! Destroy the forest! Find that fruit! So says AI, the mighty Fred. Oh, no, look at him. They're on stilts! What an ingenious idea! Remember, ladies, courage is on our 
your side. Plus the fact that the star of the show never gets hurt. We need your help, mud men. The evil knights are threatening the forest. There you are. If anyone's gonna mess up this forest, it's us. That's what mud's for. He thinks it's time to switch sides. Perfect. <laughs> I can sneak right past Fred. He'll never recognize me in this disguise. This is all your fault. Now, now, this is no reason to blow your helmet. Retreat, knights, and as you do, get that fool. Ah! He knew me. Well, it looks like Oddlaw's seen better days, and so have the forest women. Oh, look at our beautiful forest. It'll take forever for it to grow back like it was. There, there, Queen Emerelda. I'll think of something, even if it's lending you my gardener. He's quite good, you know. What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> That's it! Whitebeard's riddle! You'll find your quest is just the pits. It isn't the fruit, it's the pits. They're very special jewels. Observe. an endless supply, enough to regrow the entire forest. You saved the forest, walrus. That's Wally, Wally. Yeah, yeah. Come on, ladies. Let's give him a big forest woman. Thank you. <laughs> How touching, eh, Wolf? Uh -uh. <laughs> Here, Wallbang. This is just a little token of our appreciation. Hey, where on earth is he? Where's Walding? Wallpaper? Wallaby? Where's What's-His-Face? Where is Wallaby, the Wally, this time? Can you find him? Keep looking. There's Wally. Now, I've got to go. I've got another job across town, and the traffic is fierce. See ya. Hit it. Sport fans and Wally Watchers. Today, excuse me, Outlaw, but get out of the way, would you? Ah, nobody told me you were filming today.
Actually, Woof, mechanized clothes cleaning has been prevalent since the early 20th century. I found this machine in the land of the washing workmen. It also comes in handy for washing my dishes. And it does a great job on the neighbor's cars. Hmm, how long has it been since I washed you, Wolf? <laughs> Who's the surprise visitor sliding down the chimney? It's not Christmas. It will be for me if I can get my mitts on that walking stick. And my glove on Wally. Wally! I didn't expect to run into you at the cleaners. Hey, I'll tell you, would you have these robes washed? <clears throat> well, Whitebeard, I... Hey, did I tell you that I was notified by a king in distress, huh? And it involves an exciting competition. Ooh. Sounds exciting, doesn't it, Woof? Um, piffle. You may want to use the clues in the great ball game rule book. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> rule number one, start going up the other way. Rule number two, a stolen base will save the day. Rule number three, rise to fulfill your rule. And rule number four, <laughs> to win, head towards your final goal. <laughs> Wolf loves ball games. <laughs> How depressing. Well, this certainly puts a new wrinkle in this story. <laughs> Get it? Wrinkle! I love it! I can't watch Shut up. Sorry? <laughs> wrinkle. <laughs> well, time's wasting. Let's go, Wolf. Good luck, Wally. Ho -ho. That's my cue. The portal. Hey, good luck, Wally. <laughs> and I'll be over tomorrow to pick up my laundry, huh? Easy on the starch, all right? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the great ball game. As usual, the ever-adventurous Wally's in the middle of the action. Talk about good seats. Right. Whoa. Whoa. Did you know, Wolf, that this game has four teams that play two games at the same time? Wally! And that's not all, Wolf. Listen to this. You can throw your opponent's ball into a pit to keep him from scoring. Come on, Wolf. Let's take a look around. Look, Woof, this must be the pit I read about. <laughs> Let's see if we can play, Woof. Oh, I don't believe these people are fighting over a stupid ball. Can I play? I'm sure they won't mind if I give this game a try. No, you! That! No, 
eyes shot. I'm King Fussy Fuss, and this is the Royal Translator. Hmm. Fussy Fuss. Isn't that Suffy Suff spelled backwards? Well, I guess so. Thanks for winning the game. You tied the series, so now we can compete in the Royal Tiebreaker. I'm Wally, and this is my dog, Woof. Wally, I really need your help. I we it, my the crown trophy is missing. Yeah, and if I don't win the royal tiebreaker and get the trophy back, my subjects will turn against me and my kingdom will be or e it lost. It has to be my evil stepbrother, Blech. What did he say? He said Blech. Yeah, and he's next in line for the throne. Evil stepbrother. Not that I know the bloke, mind you, but I already like him. Ah! Maybe this rule book will help us find your trophy. I, you, my. The king's glad to hear it. You're finished, Fussifus. Just one more game, and your kingdom is mine. All right, Blech. What have you done with the crown trophy? <gasps> <laughs> you think I stole the crown trophy? I'm crushed. Why do you think he did it? <gasps> because he also stole the royal scepter, the royal shoehorn, and the royal cow! Who? Moi? Mm -hmm. huh? You are... Oh. What's he saying? You don't want to know, sir. Well, it doesn't matter, because tomorrow, after winning the game, Blech rules the kingdom! <laughs> nice laugh. Oh, Prince Black, I'd like to help you stop Wally from finding the crown trophy. Who are you? I'm the chap who teams up with scuzz like you every week while I follow Wally around and try to steal his stick. Put it there. Ah! Close enough, partner. Hmm. The first rule is start game up the other way. That's it, Wolf. That's the clue. Huh? The other way from up is down. Down the hole. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, yes! <coughs> I mean... <coughs> oh, yes, Wolf! Where's that wandering Wally going? Why, down, of course! Will this be the end of Wally? Will I be looking for another job? Stay tuned, Wally Watchers! Well, Wolf, apparently I didn't bring my parachute. Well, no! <laughs> But I did bring my walking stick. Sure, right away. Little does Wally know, he's standing at the entrance of the maze of no return. It is? Sounds fascinating. Let's have a look, Woof. Uh-oh, Wally Watchers. Guess which nauseating nasty shown up to stop our hero and take his walking stick. Please, hold your applause. All right, troops, get in there, get Wally, and get me that stick. <laughs> Hello, evil sidekicks union. I've got a complaint. Isn't it amazing, Wolf? Topiary of this kind is usually found only in the grandest of gardens. <laughs> Notice the well-trimmed young blooms and the deep green color. I'll give the chap a trim of his own. What's this? It looks like Wally's clever canine companion has a little something up his furry sleeve. A maze! 
amazing! I've never seen anyone get a cab this quickly in New York. And the fresh smell indicates that they'll be blossoms soon. Did you say something, Wolf? Uh-uh. Oh, thank goodness I found you! I've been stuck here in this maze for 20 years! I've been by myself all alone! Don't worry. I'll be happy to help you find your way out. Are you kidding? I like it here! Yes, I can understand that. Would you like to hear how foliage was first used for mazes such as this? <laughs> not. The origin of these mazes transpired in the late 12th century, when... Get out of here! Oh. That's what Oddlaw gets for being a lousy tipper. Now Oddlaw's setting up traps that will never work, Wally Watchers. Of course they will. Watch. Pardon me, but I believe I have a chiropractic emergency. And then, circa 1557, a variety of kingdoms were... Why, I don't believe it! A hedge monster! Why, look! A visitor from the land of the Shrieking Shrubs! Oh, is there anything in life more touching than young shrubbery in love? Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Look, Woof, this must be the base for the crown trophy. And rule number two said that a stolen base will save the day. Good work, Woof. It appears you found the Royal Inflator. But how do you know it's the Royal Inflator? Easy. It's wearing a crown. Oh. There he is. <laughs> Kids, don't you just love them? Rule number three says, rise above our opponent and fulfill our role. Where are you going? Afternoon, doggy. Care to take a chance and win a tasty little bone? <laughs> Glad to hear it. Now watch the bone, keep your eyes on the bone, and you'll know exactly where it is. There you go, friend. Tell me where the bone is, and it's yours. <laughs> oh, too bad, friend. You lose. <laughs> Pardon me. But have you seen a dog wearing a stylish red shirt? Congratulations, friend. It's your lucky day. You'll find your friend under one of these shells. Watch the shell. Keep your eyes on the shell, and you'll know exactly where your friend is. There you go, friend. Tell me where the pooch is, and he's all yours. Hmm. Let's see. I pick that one. Hey, how'd you know that? All it took was a few calculations, taking into consideration the laws of probability and chance. And the fact that I smelled Wolf's cologne coming from under your hat. Right, right. Bye! Thanks for the fun! <laughs> Wait a second. I know how to rise and fulfill our role. Watch, Wolf. A simple balloon. And with the help of the Royal Inflator, the recent occurrence of prevailing westerly winds, we should be back in time for the royal tie-breaking game. Amazing, Wally Watchers. How does he do it? First he's down there, then he's going up here. Then he's gone. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where's Wolf? Why am I wasting time talking when I could be looking for them?
Have you found our hero yet, Wally Watchers? I hope so, because he owes me five dollars. You said it, Wolf. Let's go. We found the trophy base, King Fussy Fuss. And if we play by the rules, we'll find the trophy, too. And uh, by the way, could he borrow $5 to pay me back? <laughs> Good work, Wally. But unless Fussy Fuss wins the tiebreaker and finds the crown trophy, <laughs> the throne is mine. <laughs> you, I'll... What did he say? Ah, ooh, e, you, I'll. <laughs> I thought so. Okay, it's time to pick our champions for the tie-breaking match. I chose Gundra. <laughs> Seems like a nice enough fellow, doesn't he? <laughs> Great! There's your champion! <laughs> play ball! But while he can't play, he needs to find the crown trophy! Don't worry, King Fussy Fuss. I'm sure Gundra will be willing to postpone the match. Right, Woof? <laughs> hmm, nice ball. Notice the intricate seams and the durable cover. <laughs> it's just a little thunder, Wolf. Nothing to be scared of. Come on, get him, Gundra! Have I missed anything? Guess not. I, you, that, oh my! Go, Wally, go. Hmm, let's see. It should be here somewhere. Here it is! A peanut butter cookie! Cookie? Gundra Cookie Hungry! You looked like you were working up an appetite. Here, be my guest. <laughs> Listen, you big doofus. I want this game ball kicked across the goalpost now. Gundra kick ball blast. Uh-oh. Due to current network restrictions, we're not allowed to show you the remainder of this gruesome scene on television. <laughs> that what? He boy. Ouch. <laughs> now let's see. The last rule is, to win, head toward your final goal. Take it away, Woof! I, it, you, my! Whoopee, whoopee, we won. <sighs> Big deal. Even if I don't win the game, it doesn't matter. Without the crown trophy, <laughs> I still take the throne. Not yet. The second rule said a stolen base will save the day. Of course, the base is magnetic. Here's the crown trophy. He found the trophy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna fight. <laughs> I see you. I... Allow me, sir. 
King Fussy Fuss still rules the kingdom. I'm just gonna... gonna... Whoa! The king thanks you, Wally. Wally? Where's Wally? Don't ask me. I can't even find my own car keys. Good luck, Wally Watchers. There's Wally. That's it for today, Wally Watchers. My time's up, and I'm not being paid for extra innings. Bye now. Hit it. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. <laughs>
while I walk off with his walking stick. OK, Tabby, take care of that overgrown candy cane. Attack! Attack! What's the matter? Don't you know a Wally when you see one? He looks just like this. What's the matter, Adlaw? Cat got your tongue? As a matter of fact, she did. Oh, yeah, and this recipe will help you find a magic spice oh, and assist an overworked chef. <clears throat> now, one cup flour with butter will say that you are heading the right way. Add a dilly of a sprig that comes from the ground to which no vegetables will be bound. <laughs> and then look around and take one broom. Then add a family spice to a meal that ends the glutton's gloom. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Let's go, Wolf. Okay, Wolf. Goodbye, White Beard. Hey, have a good time, okay? Yeah, and do pick me up a burger while you're there. And for some reason, I'm still hungry. Oh, I don't know. Listen up, Wally Watchers. Be on the lookout for a glutton in a pot, a tasty table, and a striped mushroom. Wow, Wolf. Look at all the hungry people. Excuse me, where can I find the local chef? <laughs> You're right. He's probably in the kitchen. <laughs> Oh, I'd say it's around 2 o'clock. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but, but you're standing on my wife's chair. <laughs> Too bad. Why don't you tell her to make me move, shrimp? Oh, honey. you to your seat, madam. Pardon us, but you're the chef, aren't you? <laughs> Congratulations, Sherlock. What tipped you off? Simple. You're the only one who wasn't chewing. Well, I'm Chef Baker Cook, and I'm all so doomed. I'm Wally, and this is my dog, Woof. We're here to see if there's anything we can do. <laughs> Yeah, right. And how can you fight a curse? Reverse? Yeah, it's courtesy of Porcina, an evil queen who wanted me to <coughs> marry her. Nice, Wart. The artwork is reminiscent of a number of Renaissance masters. Well, being a sweetheart that she is, Porcina cursed me when I refused. Now, the more I cook, the hungrier the townspeople get. <laughs> that old witch won't be the only thing to fall for you, Chef Baker Cook. Adla, you scheming scuzz! Is there no level you won't stoop to for Wally's walking stick? Let me think. No. <laughs> oh, well, at least the car didn't fall on me, too. <laughs> it's a good thing I was wearing a seatbelt. Excuse me a minute, huh? Roll, 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 roll. Oh, Chef Baker Cook oh, should be using that new non-chewable cookware, Wally Watchers. I say, maybe I could use Porcina to get Wally's stick. <laughs> Tangled hair, those jagged teeth, that disgusting wart. You must be ugh, the lovely Porcina. Who are you? I'm Oddlaw, and I'd wrestle a slobbering werbeast blindfolded if it would win your love. You would? <laughs> Stop! 
<laughs> you forgot your blindfold. Gosh, thanks. Sweetheart. <laughs> Love, Biscuit. But before we start our new life together, I'll go torment the good guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wally, say hello to this week's villainous, Porcina. Porcina, meet our hero, Wally. Nice to meet you. Likewise, sucker. Oh, just wait until I get my spatula on you, Porcina. There, there. I'm sure we can work this out. Troublemaker, my spell book will blow the stripes off you for meddling. Wow. I picked up the same book in the land of the grumpy librarians. On sale, I might add. Can you tell me what this means? One wink, two wink, you shrink. Hmm. Now, where did she go? Oh, well, come along, Chef Baker Cook. Let's find the spice that will end your curse. Now, what happened to that disgusting, horrid... Ah! ...peach of a woman? Come on, love blots. We've got work to do. <laughs> Rose! 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 Chef Baker Cook left with a mysterious stranger. Without him, there'll be no dinner tonight. Wait! This stranger owns a magic stick. If you use it to stir your gruel, your bowls will magically fill back up. You'll never go hungry again. Roll out the blenderizer! One cup flour will say that you are headed the right way. Is there any flour nearby, Chef? Ah, uh, none. Besides that sack over there. Hmm, I wonder what kind of flour is inside. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Look at this, Wolf! The wizard meant this kind of flour, not cooking flour. See how this buttercup points to the west? Oh, no! Look! It's the Blenderizer! Yes, it's quite similar to a rather large waffle ironizer, don't you think? This is terrible, Wally Watchers! Will our heroes be pureed? Will they be flambéed? I'm so concerned, and I... Oops, sorry, I gotta take this call. Our hero is facing the biggest mix-up of his life! <laughs> Get it, mix-up? What will he do? An egg, a little sugar, a few walnuts. Perfect! And now to stir vigorously. Stupendous, pal! Actually, it's Mama Waldini's recipe for walnut cake. You should taste it. Feeds over 200 and freezes beautifully. <laughs> and now to find that spice. Let's see. The recipe says a dilly of a sprig that comes from a ground to which no vegetables are bound. What's that supposed to mean? There are lots of vegetables here! <laughs> oh, great! It's monster vegetables, and they're gonna eat us! No, they're not. We're what? No, actually, we're in the presence of a performing superstar. Oh, yeah. He used to play the salad circuit at my local grocery store. 
Pleased to meet you, ma'am. I'm Elvis Parsley, famous superstar and great garnish, too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they just love the way I rattle my roots, man. Oh, hold oh, Mr. Narrator back. Rose? What an honor, Wolf. We're meeting the king of rock and roughage. <laughs> Listen to those fans. The king really knows how to pack a garden. Yeah, they're my fans, man. But for all the wrong reasons. Run for your leaves, man. It's a good thing I always bring an extra set of clothes. Hand me my cap, won't you, Wolf? Thank you. The record shows he scared the crows and did it his way. I want to reward you, man. How'd you like a celery Cadillac? To tell you the truth, I really could use a dilly of a sprig if you know what one looks like. <laughs> Did someone call me? <laughs> Everyone knows Sid, man. He's a real dilly. Of a dill wheel, that is. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Help yourself, Wally. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we'd best be on our way. We have a spice to find. Yeah, and a curse to break, too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Wally has left the garden. Aha! Take that! And that! Give me that stick! Oh, lover creep! I think you're beating on a fake Wally. Don't be silly, sludge cake. Why would vegetables have a fake Wally? The answers to Wizard Whitebeard's riddles are usually found in the least likely places. And I know just where that could be. Hmm. Of course, the next line of this recipe says, see the people below and take one room. You mean in there? <laughs> oh, come on, you two. It'll be fun. Amazing! Where are we? I've never seen anything like this before. Have you, Wally? Hurry! Hurry! Hey, where'd he go? Where's Wally? Where did he go? Where are all of us going? And just what is the meaning of life? Whoa, <laughs> Mr. Narrator's getting deep. I'd better go towel myself off. Wally! Oh, Wally! Wherefore art thou, Wally? I'm not sure I've ever been here before. Or heard Shakespeare done that well. I don't think they're happy to see us, Wally. Would you trolls have a spare room you could lend us? Yeah, no rooms for strangers. <laughs> Say, I know who you are. You're the mining mole trolls. I'm Wally. This is Woof and Chef Baker Cook. Wally? I'm Troll Chief, and you big legend around here. We read about you. We mine mushrooms here. Gosh, do you think I could have a small one? <laughs> this should do it. We have big surprise for Wally. We grow this just for use. It's lovely. Thank you. Well, we'd best be on our way so we can remove Chef Baker Cook's curse. 
here is way out. Good luck on Quest. We write soon. Goodbye, Wooly. I'm sure that stick is in here somewhere. Hey, we know use. <laughs> ah, my adoring public. <laughs> crowd. Oh, long phlegm. If this happens again, I might have to get angry with you. <laughs> like this! Whoa! We wouldn't want that to happen, now would we, Love Lint? Hi, everyone. We're back from our quest. <laughs> Their eyes are glazed over, similar to a hypoglycemic reaction. Whoa! If we don't find that spice soon... <laughs> One cup butter, a dilly sprig, and a room. Hmm. The recipe says, add a family spice to a meal that ends the glutton's gloom. I wonder what that could be. Eureka! I've got it! Ha-ha, <laughs> 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 the chef is doomed and Wally's stick will be mine, mine! Ass, ass. That's better, love pimple. <laughs> Gruel's on. Come and get it. My friends stopped dating. <laughs> You've broken a curse, pal. But how? Well, Wizard Whitebeard's recipe said add an old family spice to a meal that ends the glutton's gloom. And Mama Waldini's extra hot spicy pepper sauce works every time. <laughs> Thanks for freeing me from Borsina's spell, Wally. This overbaked casserole is gonna spend the next few years washing dishes! But I really did it. Because I love you with all my wart-covered heart. Oh, you do? Are you kidding? How many chefs can handle a spatula like you? She's got a point. Gee, I don't know what to say. Why don't you say you'll marry her and get it over with? I thought he'd never ask. <laughs> oh, isn't that sweet, Woof? <laughs> By the way, Porcina, whatever happened to your former uh, love blister? Forget it. That old hag Porcina can wash these dishes herself. <laughs> Yes. Would someone hand me that scrubbing brush, please? As a token of our esteem, my little love Gourmand would like to give Wally the first taste of his latest creation. Broccoli pudding with gravy chunks. Dig in, boys. Yuck! For you, Wally. Wally, he's gone. Well, how about you, Wolf? Hey, Wolf? Now, where do you suppose they went? Where's Wally? He's around here somewhere. Good luck, Wally Watchers. There he is, Wally Watchers. Yoo-ho, Mr. Narrator. Care for some broccoli pudding with gravy chunks? Ew, yuck. 
I'm out of here, Wally Watchers. Hit it. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where? Where? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. Listen up, oh faithful followers of Wally, as you follow our intrepid trooper. Be on the lookout for an underwater lion, a woman taking a bath, and a gorilla dancing the hula. You can go home now. Huh? Yeah, you! Beat it! These telescopes will give us a close look at the stars, Wolf. Well, actually, Wolf, the science of astronomy has been popular for thousands of years. Now I know why they call it stargazing. Tee hee. Watch closely while I swing down from this big tree and grab Wally's stick. Excuse me, Oddlop, but Wally doesn't have a big tree there. He does now. In the words of Tarzan, pip pip. Luckily, Wally has a rare Venus villain trap in his garden collection. A Venus villain trap? What's that do? It eats you. <laughs> huh? Wizard Whitebeard! Hey, hiya, Wally. Hey, I've spent the afternoon practicing my self-materialization. Ooh, what a day. <laughs> Ooh, the worst. Hey, anyway, did you hear about the trouble in the land of the deep-sea divers? <laughs> What's the problem? Ooh, listen to that baby purr. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, the sea is draining, and there's a girl who's trying to stop it. Ooh, sounds serious. <laughs> tell me about it, and this little jam should help with the quest. Hit it, girls, and tell us the rest. The best teammates are gathered near. The clues are coming, so land in here. The singing fish is your number one clue, while the next is a treasure. The third king stops you from washing away While the last one is there and is putting away <laughs> Oh, thanks, girls. Catchy tune. We're watching. Oh, yeah. We're going on tour this summer. Hey, good luck, Wally. I've got to get out of here or I'll be late for the motocross. <clears throat> Wolf, we're off to the land of the deep sea divers. Oh. As a public service to you viewers, we are mercifully sparing you the sight of Adler. Yuck! Naked. <laughs> Don't worry, Wolf. I'll use my rare dolphin call to get us a ride. Rare dolphin call? I've never heard of a rare dolphin call. Actually, it's quite easy. Hello, dolphin. Could you give us a ride? Ah! <laughs> 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 
Excuse me, I'm trying to find out why the sea is draining, and I believe that you know all about it. Oh, yeah, right. Go ahead, rub it in. How'd you know I had anything to do with the plug? Well, you were all alone, you looked upset, plus the guys in that boat are jeering at you. Ooh. So tell me, who are you and what happened? Oh, hi, I'm Lucinda, professional mermaid, and I was in charge of guarding the great sea plug. No one really wanted me to guard it. Nothing I do seems to work out. The deep sea divers told me it was my last chance after ruining the first annual undersea dance and yodeling contest. Ah, yes, I read about that. Huh? Yeah, but a ship full of plug snatching pirates attacked and pulled it out. There was nothing I could do. Well, knowing the deep sea divers' code of honor as well as I do, I'm sure you fought valiantly. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, actually, I was on my lunch break, okay? That's when it was pulled by the meanest plug snatchingest pirate of them all, Pegbeard. <laughs> ah, Pegbeard, son of Pegface, grandson of Peg Spleen. Well, if Wolf and I had some diving equipment, we could have a closer look at that drain. Get your calcicles here, sardine soda, and your ice-cold diving equipment. Hey, we'd like some equipment, Charlie. Why, sure, Lucinda. Oh, and by the way, ooh, you lost the plug. Thanks a lot, Charlie. Come on, Wolf. Let's follow Lucinda down and have a look around. <laughs> The deep sea used to be so deep. Both the sea creatures and the deep sea divers used to get along in a sort of echo cool way, you know? Do you mind? But now, the plug is missing. Thanks to me, the sea will soon be history. <laughs> Excuse me, I was just uh, gargling after lunch. It looks like that foul fishy fiend Adlaw is about to drop anchor on Wally's head. Uh, oh, <coughs> pardon me. It must be that sardine sandwich. Would you kindly do me a favor and shove off? Arg! Ahoy, mateys! There's a bilge rat sliding down our mass! Yow! Yes, sir, Captain Pegbeard! Captain Pegbeard, I knew your uncle, Pegneck. Ah, good old Uncle Pegneck, the scurviest scurvy dog to ever sail the seven seas! Until those blasted termites got a hold of him. I'm here to warn you that the chap who's trying to stop you from draining the sea. Why not allow me to point him out to you? Who is he? I'll clamp him in irons, hang him from the highest yard arm, make him walk the shortest plank. Oh, I like your style. We could have a future together. Let's be partners. You'll have to discuss it with my other partner, Sydney. Sydney? Who's Sydney? Oh, Sydney! There's a bloke up here who wants to speak with you! Oh, no. Help. Don't worry, Lucinda. Perhaps we can still find that plug before the sea drains. 
<gasps> Do you really mean it, Wally? Absolutely. I'll bet it's over there on that ship. Ahoy there! Hey, you lost your pajamas? That's Captain Pegby's ship. Oh, it's probably just a misunderstanding. Wolf and I will speak to the captain about that drain plug. Oh, we will? Hey, I'm out of here. Pegby makes my scales cruel. There they are, partner. But not for long. Unleash Boomer! Who's Boomer? Why is Boomer playing music, a partner? Did he swallow a radio? <laughs> no, an entire rock band. <laughs> Look, Wolf, a singing fish. Do you remember the clues? A vast team of trees and gather near. The clues are coming, so lend me your ear. Singing fish is your number one clue. Thanks, ladies. Don't, Don't mention it, Wally. We're about to be eaten by our first clue, Wolf. Isn't this exciting? So long, mateys. <laughs> Could this be our heroes and Wally Watchers? Our Wally and Wolf fish bait? And without Wally... Hey, does anyone have a red and white shirt? We can call the show Where's Narrator? Kind of has a ring to it, doesn't it? Just look at that fish, Wolf. <laughs> you know, they're usually found swimming in the warm waters off the coast of Brazil. Mm. Mm, I don't understand it. This breed of swordfish is usually very friendly. Based upon the decibel level of the music, I can see where it could cause this fish extreme discomfort. Now, if you'll open wide and say, ah, I'll see if there's something I can do. Uh-huh, just as I thought. I'll be back in a moment. Sorry, didn't see that stop sign. Come on, guys, you can go home now. Thanks, Wally. Don't mention it. Come on, Wolf. I'll bet Boomer will give us a ride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Arg! Wally's escaping! Load up the cannon! Uh-uh. Yikes. what's happening. Oh, right. The falling water pressure has caused sunken treasure from the bottom of the sea to surface. And that's the second clue. Remember Whitebeard's song, Wolf? A singing fish is your number one clue. While the next is a treasure that comes up to you. That's why Pegbeard is draining the sea, to uncover the sunken treasure. He probably likes the singing, too. Hmm. Obviously, this doubloon originates from 15th century Spain. <laughs> it's always the same old story, Wolf. 
That's right. Boy meets mermaid. Boy talks to mermaid. Boy gets caught in net and hoisted aboard someone's pirate ship. I have an idea, Wolf. Maybe the ship's directory will tell us where to find the great sea plug. <laughs> now let's see. Captain's quarters, crew's quarters, world of pegs, eye patches unlimited, area where the sea plug is being hidden. Aha! Uh -huh. Here it is, Wolf! Right across the deck! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Well, shiver me timbers. What's Wally going to do if the pirates find him? Wait a minute. Where's Wally? I can't find him either. Can you? Good luck, Wally Watchers. He's missing! Gone! Vanished! Bingo, Wolf! Here's the plug! Right where it's supposed to be. Arg! But you'll never get a chance to use it! Hardy, <laughs> Excuse me, Captain, but how are we going to stop up the sea now? That's the least of your problems. Get him, lads! Maybe we'd better try that again. If this didn't hurt so badly, I'd get up and smack him. Gee, it looks like everybody wants to play. Hey, Sydney, look what I've got. The 1957 Mickey Mantle bubblegum card. He doesn't have this one yet. Contented smile like that on an octopus's face really makes a guy feel good. And now for the grand prize. Hello, Sydney. Yikes. Arg, I guess you think you're pretty special, don't you, Manny? Well, this'll take the wind out of your sails. <laughs> Yipe! Ah. <sighs> Just what I was looking for. Cannonball repellent. <laughs> Wouldn't that just frost your peg? <sighs> Oh, thanks, Wolf. I was looking for that whirlpool. Now I can steer the ship right into it. Oh, no, Wally Warriors. Just looking at the turning whirlpool is making me... I gotta go. I'll be right back. Remember the third lyric, Wolf? Hey, hey, the bad guys got you from watching away. See you soon, girls. Bye, Wally. This ship is going to stop us from washing away, Wolf. Is Bonnie washing away? All washed up, all wishy-washy. Oh, Wally, honey, you did it! You plugged the great sea 
strange rain. But it may be rest in peace city. Our seawater's almost gone. Hmm, maybe not. What was that last clue? Even I know that one. That's your cue, girls. Mm, the third clue stops you from washing away while the last one is there and it's going away. Ouch, babe. Those gals are hot. Ah, uh, now I see. According to my walking stick and the latest geological surveys, we should find more water right here. Oh, brother, not the standard cartoon faucet for filling up the sea gag. This is what I call a happy ending. I get the stick. It looks like Oddlaw's evil plan has floundered. I thought you already said your three puns for the day. Oh, thanks, Wally. You're an okay Joe, you know? Wally? Hey! Wally! Where's Wally? Where'd he go this time? How should I know? I'm not his travel agent. There's Wally. Time to shove off. This is your old salty dog of a narrator, commanding you to get your barnacles back here next week. Arg, arg, arg. Hit it. Where, 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 where is Wally? Where, where is Wally? Where, where? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. <laughs> Bedtime story do you want me to read to you this time? Would you rather hear the Happy Honeybee's Sweet Sugar Bowl Picnic or Cubby the Bear's Bedtime Itch? How about the attack of the horrible thing that lives in the basement? It must be the horrible thing that lives in the basement. Let's go say hi, Wolf. Beard, what are you doing in my basement? Oh, hiya, Wally. Hiya. I was just looking for a scroll, you know. Who? I'm sure I left it down here somewhere. Ooh, let me see. But, Whitebeard, you've never been down here in my basement. Hmm, good point. Hey, then there's only one other place it can be. Who? Where's that? Where's what? Where's your scroll? I don't know. I lost it. Well, well. But hey, I think I know where. In the land of the underground hunters, yeah. The land of the underground hunters? I've been wanting to go there. <laughs> Woof and I will be happy to get your scroll back for you. We will? Well, uh, hey, thanks, Wally, huh? Right, okay, these directions should help. <clears throat> Find a pyramid and take three steps west. Follow the rock slide, then south at the X until you're just a stone's scroll away. Got it. Wolf and I are ready to roll. Uh, later. Come on, Wolf. We're going down under for this adventure. <laughs> Uh-oh, Wally Warriors! With our hero leaving on an adventure, can you know who be far behind? Yoo-hoo, I've arrived. With all your bad luck, Adlaw, I'm surprised you weren't struck by lightning! Thanks, loads. Listen up! 
Cap Wally Watchers. Be on the lookout today for a monstrous bridge, an underground traffic policeman, and some upside down hunters. Attack! <laughs> Breathing dragon. Let's get a closer look. Oh no! Wally's approaching that deadly dragon. Somebody better grab him. Or better yet, grab some marshmallows. I'm hungry. And wow, look at that breath. Luckily, I brought along Mama Waldini's extra dragon strength breath spray. Try some. Ooh, I like the way you handled that dragon. Well, Mama Waldini's breath spray works every time. Want to try it? No, but I like your style. I'm Seymour the guy who likes to catch dragons, and the name says it all. Stick with me, and I'll turn you into a real dragon fighter. But, Dad, why are you always picking on those dragons? I'll bet they make nice pets. Once they're properly housebroken, of course. Oh, yeah. This is my son, Claxton McGuy, who doesn't like to catch dragons. And those dragons are getting closer and closer. If they had their way, they'd be taken over. That's why we got to drive them back underground. Guess what I'm going to be doing in about 15 seconds. Calling a doctor? Uh, why do you say that? Because that dragon you're standing on doesn't look too happy. Oh, drats. <laughs> here to find a scroll that's been lost by the wizard Whitebeard. That scroll doesn't belong to no wizard. That's our scroll. If we can find it. I'm sure the dragons are nice once you get to know them. Well, I don't want to know them. And to keep you from stealing the scroll, I'm officially declaring you our official prisoner. Wow, did you hear that, Wolf? We're official prisoners. Huh? You may scream, you may wail, we don't care, you'll go to the first clue, Woof. The wizard said, find a pyramid and take three steps west. And that's the pyramid. One step west, two steps west, three steps west! Come on, men! Get down there and stop him before he finds our scroll! Ra ra rat! Wally's going to split! It's a rare formation of amethyst crystals. And look, Woof, there's a little fire-breathing dragon. Ah, oh, this is Keen. I've never met a real dragon before. And look at that, Woof. He can fly. <laughs> I think he likes you, Woof. I'll bet he'd like to go with us. What's your name, little dragon? Uh, Bernie. Glad to have you with us, Bernie. Nee. Wow, Woof. It's a real cave in, and we've only been here just a few minutes. Oh, how lucky can you get? Oh no, Wally Gazers! It looks like once again, Wally's about to bring down the house! <laughs> bring down the house, oh man! Can this guy narrate a what? <laughs>
According to my calculations, the square root of 73 divided by the cosine of the logarithm factor means this rock should go right here. I knew reading that book, How to Stop a Cave-In with Just One Rock, would come in handy someday. Must be the dragon that caused the cave-in, Wolf. My, what a long tongue that dragon has. Having fun, Oddlaw? <laughs> a regular birthday party. I always enjoy spending my afternoon digging holes. No. I'll bet he thinks you're an intruder, Wally. Intruder, intruder. <laughs> Told ya. Hmm, an Arabian dragon. You know, I bet he hasn't heard one of these in a while. Scroll and stop this fighting. <laughs> Isn't this super wolf? Why don't you go down that rock slide with Bernie? Wait a minute. That's Whitebeard's second clue. Follow the rock slide. Come on, you two. This must be the way to find Whitebeard's scroll. Whoa! <laughs> Tail fire breathing lizard? Aw, oh, Dad, he's just a baby. And he's friendly, too. Yuck! Move it, you heat heaver! Now I've got you, too, you mangy scroll snatching Wally. Wally! Wally! There's Wally! Or better yet, where's the raise they've been promising me? Don't go away, Wally Watchers! Welcome back, Wally Watchers! Let's 
see what our mobile matador is up to. Approving Mr. Narrator's raise, I hope. like we might be having the wrap-up to this story sooner than expected. He's about to have a, oh, how shall I say it? A crushing defeat? Thank you. Well, Wolf, I guess we have no choice but to let those snakes get us. But first, we'll just put on a little suntan lotion. But why would you put on a little suntan lotion? To keep from getting sunburned, right, Wolf? <laughs> Wally's suntan lotion sure showed up those slimy snakes as he made his slippery escape. a nice little flamethrowing fellow. But where are you going to find a baby dragon around here? At the Lost and Found, of course. Excuse me, have you seen a baby dragon around here? Wally! Boy, are we glad to see you, Bernie. Me too. <laughs> Look, Woof, a stone door in the shape of a scroll. A stone scroll. It's the fourth clue. We're just a stone scroll away. <laughs> and you're not getting that scroll. Stay away from that door or else. says attack. But, Dad... I mean attack! What will our hero do? According to this book on ancient dragon battles, there's only one thing that can instantly stop this fight. What's that? Free ice cream! <laughs> Works every time. can make it 
Bernie? You bet I can! Guess what, Adler? Oh no. I just know this is going to hurt. I can't believe it! A dragon saved my son! I always thought dragons were mean, nasty, and all around icky. I guess. Maybe I owe you an apology. That's all right. We never meant to hurt anybody. Great! Now I can find Wizard Whitebeard's lost scroll. so much about you. <laughs> wow, this room is full of scrolls. Oh yeah, I write them all the time. <laughs> yeah, have one. But which is the one the wizard sent me to find? <laughs> this one right here, Wally. Whitebeard, you're here. Oh yeah, you know, hey, either that or I've got an extremely good looking twin brother. Hey, how you doing? Hey, uh, I remember the scroll was right here after you left. What does it say? <clears throat> it says that dragons aren't mean, nasty, and all around Nikki. Who? I'll tell you, the hunters owe them an apology. But they already said that, Whitebeard. They did? Oh, okay, I don't know what I gotta do. Well, hey, I guess I won't be needing this anymore, huh? Gee, Dad! This little fellow is so cute! Can I keep him? You know, dragons are actually quite docile. And they come in handy at barbecues. Don't press your luck, boy. Well, thanks for your help, Wally. Wally? Wally! Now, where did he go this time? As a public service to our viewers, I have an important announcement to make. Where's Wally? Find him if you can. Wally, and there's a dragon, a rock, and some candy I've had in my pocket since last Christmas. Uh, see you later, Wally Watchers. I've got to go wash my hand. Hit it. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. <laughs>
Did you say him? Where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Did you say him, huh? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. A hearty hi there, Wally thrill seekers. As you watch this overly exciting adventure, keep your peepers poised for a bony cow, a frog on a pogo stick, and a monkey wearing polka dot pajamas. <laughs> Knock, knock. Who's there? Handsome. Handsome who? Handsome candy through the door, and I'll tell you more. Ooh, you're okay. Wizard Whitebeard. That's funny. Ah, uh, you ain't heard nothing yet, you know. I've got a million of them right here in this ancient riddle book. <laughs> hey, why did the chicken cross the road? Why do firemen wear red suspenders? Who? And what would happen if everyone in the country bought a pink car? Whitebeard, those are the oldest riddles in the world. True, true. And they'll all help you on your adventure. Great! Where are we going this time? Oh, I'll tell you, they're having trouble in Aztec land, you know? I want you to go there and lend them a hand. Great! So long, White Beard! Come on, Wolf! Let's get going! of doomed villagers. Stand back or you'll be blown away. A tornado! Great! Ooh, not bad. I've been here less than a minute and already there's chaos. Never since the evil bad guy Guanamuk stole our life-giving stone calendar, We've had disaster after disaster. That's terrible. Wonder what we can do to help him, Wolf. And we just got word a typhoon is headed our way. He said typhoon, not tycoon, buddy. Too bad. But at least your cow still looks healthy. Depends on how you look at it, Sonny. All this because this Guanamuk guy stole your calendar? Yes, but our luck will change as soon as our courageous hero arrives. Worry no more, luckless peasantry, for I, the invincible Phantom Avenger, will avenge your phantoms. Yes, my little friend. <laughs> I will track down the treacherous Guanamuk and return your precious calendar. Glad to meet you, Mr. Avenger. Can my dog Wolf and I come along? Mm, certainly. I could use a sidekick. Goodbye, little people. The Avenger will bring back your calendar. And you will be avenged. Time to meet Guanamuk, the most rotten, cruel, and often naughty villain listed in Who's Who of Aztec Bad Guys. However, in his defense, I will say he's a swell dancer. <laughs> the power to rule the entire Aztec Empire is mine. If only I could decipher the meaning of this calendar. Why, certainly you will. Oh, Master, you're such a genuine genius. Oh, well. Wow. That genius doesn't do Guanamuk justice. He is a true smart guy. Pipe down. With all your bickering, we'll never reach the Lost Pyramid. 
Whoa, tell me again what we're gonna do when we get there. <laughs> this year, you give me strength. Now listen, the pyramid was lost for countless ages, but I discovered it last Tuesday. The calendar holds the key to the secret entrance. Ooh, ooh, tell me again what's inside. I forgot. <laughs> Give me a break. Inside is power beyond belief. <laughs> Listen, what are they saying? Oh, damn. It boom? Boom? You illiterates. They're saying uh, the invincible phantom Avenger has vowed to recover the calendar. I'm not afraid of that nitwit. Nothing can stop me. Paddle faster. A short time later, our heroes found themselves close enough to Guatemoc to know he'd eaten garlic burritos the night before. Yuck. There's your calendar. Oh, uh, just waiting for a dashing recovery by the Phantom Avenger. This is putting me on the edge of my seat. It looks like he's going to sneak up and... Um, the Avenger never sneaks. The brave and bold attack is the only way. <laughs> Come on, Wolf. Let's see if we can settle things peacefully. Uh, since you explained everything with such compassion, Senor Wally, uh, what else can I say but... Uh... Tough cookies. Well, I'm off. Uh, too bad you can't join me. But it appears uh, you're all tied up. <laughs> I hereby reclaim what rightfully belongs to my people. Going, you fools! Wolf, you know what to do. <laughs> Good boy, my slippers and newspaper. Now I better see what I can do about getting free. Come on, Wolf, we gotta find Mr. Avenger. Fast, then. We can't let him get away. I have triumphed again! Oops! Ah. Hey, great idea! Now it's light enough so we can each carry half back to the village. Oh, yes. That's the beauty of my brilliant plan. Looks like they're stuck with nowhere to go! Hmm. Why is that strange-looking chicken crossing the road? Whitebeard's riddle, Woof! Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side! That bridge is a shortcut to the other side! Please, spare us the chicken jokes! Hmm, looks like it could collapse any minute! Exciting, huh, Woof? I'll lead the way! chance to build up my biceps. Uh, what a perilous predicament! Will Wally go to the other side like the chicken, or will he go splat? In case you don't realize it, this is exciting! This is exciting! These ancient markings on the calendar say there's a powerful secret hidden in a pyramid at the far end of the valley of doom dee doom doom Isn't that fascinating, Wolf? Hey, if that bridge collapses, the calendar will break into a jillion pieces. Oh, but you can paste it back together. You can do anything. Hey, look who's worming his way into the scene. Quiet, Big Mouth. 
you're breaking my concentration. This looks like bad news for Wally. If we lighten the load, chances are we won't plunge to the bottom and be dashed against the rocks. Uh, leave it to PA. That's short for Phantom Avenger. The calendar's better than none. It'll still be useful when we reach the pyramid. Oh. oh. Time out! Substituting for lackey number two is lackey number three. I'm the substitute lackey. I think you're incredible and fabulous. Ah, not me. I'm a lackey like you. You're supposed to worship... Him. We got work to do. Firemen. <laughs> firemen. White beard's riddle. Why do firemen wear red suspenders? Oh, I know, I know. To keep their pants from falling down? No. I mean, yes. I mean, suspenders will stop us from falling down. <laughs> But what are they going to do with suspenders? Oh, the suspense is killing me. And they're almost the right length. Huh? I can't bear to look. I'm going to the little narrator's room. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Hurry, my underlings. To secure the other half of the calendar, we will pursue Guanamuk to the end of the world. Huh? Uh. When are we going to get to the pyramid? Yeah, we wanna, let's get out of here. Come on, Guanamuk. Shut your traps. You're getting on my knives. I'll make that fly to my bosom buddy. Then I'll swipe the pyramid's power. I'll use the power to steal you know what. Hello there. My, what a handsome leader. What a profile. Ever thought of getting into the motion pictures? Oh, uh, please. You think he'd fall for that? He's no fool. Welcome, my son. Come join my little band. I set my little band. Like they say, two fools are dumber than one. The way I see it, with my brains and your <laughs> total disregard for decency, we can stick it to the Phantom Avenger. I'm not worried about him. But his new sidekick knows how to translate the calendar. Hmm. Then we must find a way to trap them. <laughs> Leave it to me. Are you sure you don't want me to help you carry that? Not necessary, for I am blessed with the strength of ten goats, three sheep, and a chicken. Zones! I have discovered the path to the Lost Pyramid. Lost Pyramid? This way. <laughs> I am great. I found it. Oh, something's fishy about that sign. Such a splendid idea! Yeah, you're truly a creative wonder. Now oh, just keep putting those signs up and shut your blooming cake holes. Woo, 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 woo. He's masterful too. Aha! Uh -huh. This way. What is this? Quicksand? <laughs> it can't stop the Avenger. I will merely leap out of it. Hasta la vista, Quicksand. <laughs> My plan is, um, uh, to make camp here for the night. I'd say the Phantom Avenger's hopes are sinking fast. He needs the help of our wandering Wally. Where is Wally? Where's Wally? Find him if you can, Wally Watchers.
Did you find Wally? What's that, Wolf? The Avengers stuck in quicksand? No need to panic, Wolf. Here comes a strong but extremely gullible Central American Goofy Bird. Fortunately, its favorite food is the rare, juicy bologna worm. setback for the Phantom Avenger. <laughs> hey! Beds, how nice. But in the middle of the valley of doom dee doom doom who put them here? <laughs> Just looking out for my welfare. My unfailing intuition tells me we're near the Lost Pyramid. Ah. Uh, Next right, Lost Pyramid. What a mess! Looks like a real fixer-upper. A real Aztec Pyramid. You know, Woof, some of them are supposed to be cursed. <laughs> well, curse or no curse, the Phantom Avenger will not stop until he has both halves of the calendar. Here, take it, with my compliments. Oh, so you surrender, hmm? Obviously realizing you are no match. You alone, Senor Wally, can decipher this writing on the calendar and unseal the pyramid. But I think we should just get the calendar back to the village. I had a feeling that would be your response. Therefore, I have prepared a little torture. Fools! Scrape the blackboard with your fingernails. Oh, stop. I can't stand it. Do what he wants, please. Well, since you put it that way, I'll take a quick look. What a great design. All those carnations. Hey, Whitebeard's riddle. What would happen if everyone in the country bought a pink car? Oh, oh, I get it. We would have a pink Carnation! <laughs> Precisely! That's where the calendar fits! Hmm, what do these numbers mean? Hey, the calendar is like a combination lock. Seven to the left, nine to the right, swing your partners through the night! Now, Alamand left and Alamand right, bow to your partner and get out of sight! Yeah. Get the calendar. We may need it. Hey! Now, if you'll excuse us... Where do those cowards go? Aha! Uh -huh. This must open a secret door. Beware of the Funicello curse. Funicello? What's a Funicello? That's Aztec for a net. A net? <gasps> you know what that means. The dreaded Frankie can't be far behind. Have no fear, Mr. Narrator, for I will have a brilliant idea any moment now. At last, after years of suffering and sacrifice through torturous cartoon jungles, I finally realized my goal. It's the legendary golden headdress. There's an inscription. I'll bet it says one size fits all. Only he who is good of heart may wear the golden headdress. I crown myself with the headdress, and all power is mine. All we need 
is a little more weight. was cursed. I will never have the power I seek. Worse, I will be a laughing stock. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good laughing stock. <laughs> Gasp. If I touched it, that would have happened to me. Now that the Guanamuck looks like a silly goose, you shall be our fight. Oh, forget it. Stay away from me. Oh, come on, <laughs> Hey! How about that? There's the calendar! January through December! The Phantom Avenger, with all his mighty strength, shall carry the calendar back to the village! We give thanks and kudos to the Phantom Avenger, for now our village is back as it was. A dump. But our dump... Ah, oh, Woof, isn't it nice to have a happy ending? <laughs> and once again, I have saved the day, for I am the Phantom Avenger! Oh. Oh. You know, there's one thing about that Phantom Avenger. At least we always know when he's around, Senior Wally. There's Wally. Oh, and by the way, let me tell you a riddle. What screen and goes click, click, click? A ballpoint pickle. No, a ballpoint pickle. Get it because it's clicks. And... See you next time, wonderful Wally watchers. The ballpoint pickle. Hit it. Where is Wally? Where, where? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. A rousing, rollicking hello, Wally fans. In today's adventure, be on the lookout for a very unusual Milky Way. Identical twin robots, flying saucers and cups, and our dastardly, dusty, and extremely dirty villain, Oh, and Woof, this track shoe was the very first evidence that Bigfoot had an interest in sports. <laughs> we rope, huh? <laughs> Wizard Whitebeard. Watch this, Wally. Oh, I'm taking flamenco dancing lessons. Hey. I didn't know you were such a natural dancer. Oh, hey, hey, I've got lots of hidden talents, you know? Oh, but that's not why I stopped by. Wally, I'm sending you to future land. Great, I always wanted to go there. And, oh, let's see, uh -huh. here's something that'll help you along the way. A rose? Oh, it's more than a rose, are you kidding? It has to do with your adventure. <clears throat> Roses are red, violets are blue, okay? It's an age-old problem, and that's your clue. That's it? Yeah, well, I gotta go, you know? I'm late for my ballet lesson. All right, Wolf, we're on our way. Yes, the land of the future, where many of the things in our future are now in the past. Incredible, isn't it, Wolf? All right, right. Look, all the tough jobs are done by robots. <laughs> See something, Wolf? <laughs> So that's it, a robot dog. Rosa's Diner. Hey, the first line of Whitebeard's poem. Roses are red. Rosa's Diner. Gourmet Magazine gives it a very low rating, but Popular Mechanics rates it four stars. Hi, are you Rose? 
Rose? Oh, shoot. She's been gone a long time. Howdy. I'm your waitress, Tilly. Wanna be hung? The Venus fried steak's real good. Done just the way they like it on Venus. Sure, sounds fine. Uh, but no fries. Y'all, give me a scorched venuchin and hold the grease blotter. <laughs> Certainly busy in here. Hmm, whole town's busy, honey. Intergalaxy President Gomez is arriving today. Here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> this is a cinch. Ah! Ice River next plus pidak. Quite all right. Robot now. Slots up, up on the front table, Pronto. Why, I'll have it cleaned up in a jiffy. You seem to really like your job. Oh, I love it. I'm as happy as a lark. I get to scrub the floors, wash the dishes. I'm the luckiest robot in the universe. Or at least the galaxy. <laughs> For sure in the room. Nice to meet you. I'm Wally. Oh, look at our doggies. They're having fun. <laughs> hey, his tail fell off. I can fix it. Canine's wiggle waggle falls off all the time. Oh, no, it's Master Trasher. Oh, 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 my. What am I going to do? Oh, oh. Well, don't be alarmed. Oh, oh, Master Trasher's coming to take me away. Oh, help me, please. Oh, sure. Uh, quick, in there. I'll keep Trasher busy, hon. Master Trasher, what a scary guy. I'm here for robot number nine. Oh, what a shame you missed him. Today's his day to, uh, visit his knees. She's a washer-dryer combo. <laughs> He's dead. Don't try to fool me. He is here somewhere. Quick, my car's this way. Oh. Hey, Brian, Brian. Why, I can fix that. Why, it'll just take a second, canine. Gee, thanks, robot number nine. Oh, oh my! Oh, oh my, that's him! Why is that guy after you? Did you do something wrong? What I did wrong was become obsolete, just like Rose. All the old robots, except me now, have been replaced by newfangled high-tech models. What a great jalopy! Ah, oh, they just don't make them like they used to. Aha! Uh -huh. Now's my chance. Robot number nine cannot escape me. What'll happen if this trasher fellow catches you? He'll take me apart and recycle me. My poor cousin number seven is a manhole cover on the corner of Fifth and Broadway. Uh... Who are you? And what are you doing in my sidecar? Oh, hello. Oddlaw is my name. I'm uh, here to ride share. Just do not get in my way, or I will smash you to smithereens. And by the way, buckle up. Oh, oh, give up. You do not have a chance. <laughs> hey, Galaxy Car Wash. Why, we can hide in there. Terrific! Wolf needs a bath anyway. 
Lucky for robot number nine, Master Treasure is thrown off the trail. He has no idea that robot number nine is hiding in that car wash. Aha, uh -huh. you hear that? The car wash. Oops, me and my big narrator mouth. Oh well, say la vie. <laughs> Wow, this is what I call full service. I will teach him it is useless to run from Master Trasher. I'm with you, Trash LB. Well, out of my way. Trash Man is coming through. Robot 9, looks like we got rid of him. Oh, dear. My arm. I gave away one too many nuts and bolts. Now, if I could just reattach it, I can... Ah, we're gonna hit that side. Truer words were never spoken. Looks like they're going to do the old crashing into President Gomez routine in order to get you to stay tuned in. Bye, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Oops, song page. <laughs> uh, we've returned to find Wally in a pickle. Uh, well, not real pickle. Uh, you're smart, kids. You know what I mean. Here's your shoulder bolt. Great. The shoulder bolt connected to the clavicle bolt, and the clavicle bolt connected to the flag and flugel bolt. Uh, hang on, gang. Oh, no. What's our next move, Trash L. Bean? I don't know about our next move, but here is your next move. And so they landed safely. Yeah, I, I know, you can see that for yourself, but too long without narration and they'll start wondering if I'm necessary. <laughs> the museum, a great place to hide. Even in this weird crowd, you'll stand out. You need a disguise. Your own grandmother wouldn't recognize you now. Bless her heart. She was a dishwasher, you know. A three-cycle front loader. <laughs> Wait till I tell Trasher. I just love tattling on people. What a great biplane. It's a real classic. Yeah, like me. Maybe I belong in a museum. Don't be silly. Like that biplane, you're one of a kind. You seen this robot? Yes! yes. No. no! Cut the clowning. Which way did he go? Well, which way? <laughs> I know where he is, I know where he is, and you don't. But I will, won't I? Yes, madam. Uh, I mean, sir. And I don't even want the reward. Any little thing will do. Like a walking stick. That's him. Fake beard, big hat. Give up! <laughs> The Trasher cannot be fooled by a ridiculous beer. What are you doing? Are you crazy? Help! I'm the Slobovian ambassador and this lunatic assaults me. Uh-oh. My hunter's instinct tells me that metalhead is here somewhere. I knew this would come in handy one day.
bucket of bolts. If you really care about your little friend, you will take this message to Kenai's master. What's that, Wolf? Robot number nine, I have your precious canine. If you ever want to see him again, you will meet me by the dinosaur exhibit. I've got to do it. I love my little doggy. Wait, come back. Help! Help me, somebody! Wally! Where's Wally? Did you find Wally? Harvard University offers classes on Wally finding. But if you missed him, I'll tell you where he is. Don't worry, Wolf. We'll find him. Hey, one of Robot Nine's loose screws. Can you pick up his scent? Translated into English, that's yes. Oh, please, Mr. Master Trasher, give me another chance. Forget it. Rules are rules. You are obsolete and your time is up. Solar flares! This means trouble. I'm out of here. Have a pleasant journey, number nine. Toodles! <laughs> Meanwhile, Wally and Wolf try to find a way to get into the disassembly building. See, sometimes I can be serious. What a cheap special effect. The cartoon studio must have spent a whole ten bucks on that one. We can get in through there, Wolf. See those ducks? <laughs> he said ducks, as in air conditioner, not ducks as in quackers. We'll have to go in on all fours. Guess you'd know all about that, huh? <laughs> oh, Wolf. Robot 9, hang on! Oh, thank goodness you're here! I need your... <laughs> Come on, Wolf. We've got to find out where this goes. Don't worry, fella. I'll put your master back together. Somehow. Well, that just about does it, except for the circuit board. Tilly! How's about a big kisser? No, number nine. I'm not Tilly. Why, of course not. Silly me, I'm Tilly. <laughs> Why, hold the phone. I'm not Tilly. I'm a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> you might need a few more adjustments. Attention all personnel. Solar flare. Stabilize all robots. Do not panic. Or better yet, do panic. Oh. Why, hi, Wally. Number nine, you're your old self again. Come on, it's not safe in here. Wow, those are some solar flares. Why, they're not just any solar flares. They're the worst kind, ultraviolet solar flares. 
That's it. Roses are red, violets are blue. Whitebeard's poem. Tell me, Robot 9, why are ultraviolet solar flares the worst kind? Because they can shut down master control. Master control? Let's have a look. Oh, no! President Gomez is rocking! He's in trouble! What a crisis! And at that very moment, in master control... <laughs> After Lima, the robot piloting President Gomez's rocket <laughs> has gone completely loony! We can't even set up a rescue rocket. They're all robot controlled. What are we gonna do, Professor? <laughs> Beats me! The solar flares have affected every single robot in future world! There's one robot who works perfectly, sir! Robot number nine! Guess it's because I'm just too old-fashioned! No way we're risking the President's life on an obsolete robot! Well, thanks for offering to help put my assistance right. You see, every time the solar flare goes wild, the robots go berserk! I'm afraid it's an age-old problem. Hmm. Roses are red, violets are blue. It's an age-old problem, and that's your clue. With minutes to spare, Wally got the age-old biplane and flew it into the stratosphere. There's Air Rocket One. Senior President, help is on its way. Help. 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 Okay, number nine, get ready. Oh, what? Oh, Don't worry, I know he can do it. Mission accomplished. I would like to take this opportunity to thank... You, Robot 9! There is no getting away this time! What is the meaning of this? Unhand him this minute! Robot 9 is obsolete and must be terminally disassembled. Robot 9 is a hero. He saved my life. And he's to be rewarded. You may have any job in the galaxy for which you're suited. As a president. Well... I've always wanted to be a guide in that wonderful museum. And so you will. And I have a new job for you too. A new job? What? You still be known as Mr. Thrasher, but from here on, all you do is pick up a trash. You can start by picking up the mess you made. Mr. Thrasher is a little master Thrasher. Again, my deepest thanks for your heroism. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, shucks. It wasn't anything. It was really all because of Wally. Wally? Who's Wally? Where's Wally? Where is our Wally? You know it's an obvious place, but where? But before we go, <clears throat> I'd like to recite a poem. Violets ain't red, roses ain't blue, but the show sure is over, so I'm all through. Bye-bye, <laughs> see you next time. Hit it. Where's Wally? Where is Wally? Where? Where? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. <laughs> Greetings, Wally Watchers. We have a really big show today, so be on the lookout for two broom trees and a human checkers game.
But wait a minute. Where's Wally? He's not supposed to be missing so soon. Uh-oh. The portal's open and he's already gone. I'm too late. Actually, Wolf and I are just running late from our last adventure. Solving the crisis in the land of the porcupine people. Come on, Wolf. Let's go eat. I hate the land of the porcupine people. I always knew you were stuck up, Oddlaw. <laughs> Get it? Stuck up because you're up there on the top. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Wizard Whitebeard! Yeah, hey, Wally. Welcome home, Wally. Hey, how was your trip, huh? Well, right after we arrived, Wolf and I found ourselves facing a dangerous... Great story. Ooh, I'll tell you, I'm getting goosebumps. Ooh, hey. Anyway, ooh, there's some little people with a big problem in the land of the unfriendly giants. Did you hear that, Wolf? We're going on another adventure, and it's going to be a really big one. <laughs> Let me see who, oh, hey, what happened to those clues? <laughs> I'll tell you who oh, yeah. oh, yeah, hey, here it is. Hey, thanks, Wolf. <laughs> Let's see here. <clears throat> Find three puzzling clues. Well, that's it. <laughs> Have fun, Wally. See you later, all right? Hmm, find three puzzling clues. Well, I don't know what they are, but this sure sounds like fun. <laughs> Come on, Wolf. Let's go. Coming, Adla. Oh. It's a good thing we cartoon villains heal quickly. <laughs> Wolf, they're playing checkers. Fascinating game, checkers. It dates back to ancient Egypt and is probably the oldest game in the world. Ha ha ha, that's a nice move. I win. Hey, what's the big idea of having Husk win the game? Oh, no. oh, a hangnail. Not a hangnail. I hate hangnails. Ow, ow, ow. Good idea, Wolf. Let's have a look around the village. Let's see. According to my schedule, the guest villain should be dropping in any time now. Ow! 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 That must be him. Hmm. These must be the little people with the big problem, Woof. Get it, Woof? Big problems? <laughs> Whoa! Hmm, obviously some sort of crude medieval elevator. Welcome. We saw what you did to that giant over there. Yes, proper cuticle maintenance is so important. But no one's ever stood up to them before. Except for our ex-leader. Flat Larry. Yeah, but remember what the Giants did right after that? Wiped their feet? <laughs> you slay me. No, but as the village minstrel, I wrote a song about it. And it goes something like this. 
The giants moved in, they wouldn't go away. Thank you. We heard they were a big problem, right, Wolf? They are just unfriendly giants. Before long, we'll all be eating shoe leather, like Flat Larry. They won't leave. In fact, I wrote a song about it. It's called Giants Ain't Leaving, and it goes something like this. They ain't leaving. Thank you. Ah, what talent. Maybe there's something Wolf and I can do to help. Yeah, you could pay for some singing lessons. <laughs> you already met the unfriendly giant's extra unfriendly leader, Archie. Isn't his full name J. Archibald Barrington III? Why, yes. How did you know that? His business card fell out of his pocket. Onward, Wolf. We have three puzzling clues to find. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the village pond, the irritable, ornery Archie is about to quench his giant thirst. It's J. Archibald Barrington the third, little man. Okay, okay, you got it. Pardon me, laddie. How would you feel about working with the nastiest bloke to ever set foot in the village? <laughs> Give me one good reason why I shouldn't smash you right now. What would you do if I told you there's a stranger in the village? Ah! Fair enough. What would you say if I told you his name's Wally and he wears glasses and a stupid hat? Uh, I know him. He wants to help the people chase you out of the village. Well, when I get my hands on him, I'll... I'll... Yes, tell me, tell me. Whoa! I said, tell me, tell me, not show me, show me. Earwib, Malukflu, and Flan! Excuse me, but I think you're holding the script upside down. Let's see, Woof. Do you think you can sniff out a puzzling clue? <laughs> hey, look at this, Woof. It's a puzzle piece. It must be the puzzling clue Whitebeard was talking about. Hmm. I wonder what it means. Oh, which way? There he is! Ah! The troublemaker who's trying to chase us out of the village! Look, Wolf! It's the unfriendly giants! And I believe they're going out of their way just to try and stop us! Uh-oh! Things look bad, Wally Watchers! Really bad! We could be back with some Wally pancakes! Uh, you bring the syrup. Get ready to use your spatulas, Wally Watchers! Ah! Hmm. All I need is a board. Ah! Thank you. You know, Wolf, astronomy has always fascinated me. If we stand here, Wolf, we should get a good look at a descending meteorite. It comes now! <laughs> Look, it's a meteor shower! <laughs> Look, Wolf, they're dancing! All right, everybody, follow after me! One, two, three, two, two, three. Oh, the Blue Danube, the most famous of stars.
Strauss's work. Hey, you know, I wrote a song about it. I call it the giant dance, and it goes something like this. I want a two, I want two, three, that crazy cha-cha, get down the boogie, giant kind of thing. Thank you. Sheer brilliance. Well, come on, Wolf. We've got a puzzle to solve. Hey, they're getting away. After them. Quick, over here, this way. What? Uh-oh, it looks like Oddlaw put his foot in his mouth. And the Giants put theirs in, too. Oh, can't you find somebody else to bother for a while? Hmm, let me think. Mm, nah. They still want to play, Wolf, but we don't have time. We've really got to go. Huh? <laughs> oh, Wolf, there's nothing like a lovely hop through the country. Leaping over rocks, bouncing over bushes, running into windmills. <laughs> Look, Woof, it's another piece to the puzzle. Hmm, I wonder what it all means, Woof. Well, Woof, well, well. Oh. Oh, no, Adler, look out behind you. You're in trouble. It's... I'm not falling for that old trick. What could possibly be that? Ha! Huh? Adler, my boy, there you are. Mummy, what are you doing here? I'm here because you never write, you never call, and you never visit. Mummy, uh, uh, I can explain. Oh, don't. I like it that way. The last thing I want is him bothering me. In order to help the little people, we need one more puzzle piece, Woof. Mummy! Mummy! Don't worry, Wally Watchers. Adla will fall on the soft cartoon ground below. I think the soft cartoon ground is a little to the left. Thanks. I'll remember that. Don't mention it. Come on, Wolf. Let's see what's going on. What seems to be the trouble? It's the Giants. They're on a rampage. Uh, somebody's got to stop them. Oh, now I'll never be able to sing my newest love song. Run for your life before those Giants smash you, honey. What are you going to do about it, uh, Wally? Wally? Where's Wally? I'm writing a song about it. I call it, where the heck's that be spectacles be striped wandering Wally going? A do up, do up. Well, I write my next hit. Let's find our traveling trooper and his canine companion. is an interesting creature who can consume many times his own weight in wood. Wow, what's a big idea? Wow, Wolf! Did you know that some of the biggest trees ever seen grow in this land? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, wow. 
this tree's green roughage is lovely. And a test for terror. Look, Woof, it's the other puzzle piece. It must have fallen out of the tree. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, huh? Come on, Woof. We've got a puzzling clue to solve. And so, the wandering Wally... <clears throat> don't mention it. Follow me, Wally Watchers, while your all-knowing narrator finds out what's going on. Pardon me, but this is top secret. We're planning to get the giants to leave. What? You think I, your faithful narrator, would tell the giants what you're doing? No, but they might be watching the show. Good point. <laughs> Say, aren't you the guy who Wally never sees? Shh. Yes, keep it down. I know. I even wrote a little song about you. I call it the stick song, and it goes something like this. He wants that stick, that magical stick. S-T-I-C-K. Stick, yeah. Stick, yeah. Stick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mention it, babe. I'll be back in a jiffy. Uh-oh, Wally Watchers! It doesn't look good for the villagers! Stay tuned if you want to buy some cheap, giant thrashed real estate! Listen closely, everyone. Find Wally now! And do it quickly before I cry. I want him! I want him! I want him! Yoo-hoo! Archibald! Wolf and I will be happy to talk this over. We will. Oh, you're history, little man. This way, Wolf. <laughs> when I get my hands on you, I'll... 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 Hey, they tricked me with that pepper. Uh, well, are you all right, Archibald? Charge. Charge like you've never charged before. Hey! Now I can sing the new song I wrote. It's called Let the Pie Fly, Men, and it goes something like this. Fling them pastries, boys. We ain't flinging toys. Thank you. In the words of my mama, those big men are taking a big whopping. Excuse me, Missy. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, have a nice day. I'm personally going to give each and every one of you a boo-boo. Oh, no. The irritated Archibald is heading toward our hero. Archibald, I believe you have company. J. Archibald Barrington III. Uh-oh. I don't believe it. I toss you and your friends out for being so grumpy, and the first thing you do is find someone else to pick on. But, 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 sweetie, I, I can explain. Good. 
Now clean up this mess! Move it! Move it! Move it! Yes, dear. Look, Wally, you did it well. Safe. No, you did it by working together. And the pieces of the wizard's puzzle told me to call Archibald's wife. A Hawaiian lei, the letter D, and a house. Lady of the house. Hey, that's amazing. Listen, would you like to hear the song I wrote about you? I call it Ode to Wally. You wrote a song about me? Crikey, I'd love to hear it. Coming at you, and it goes something like this. Wally's pretty neat. Thank you. So what do you think, Wally? Wally? Where's Wally, you ask? Do I look like his mother? Find him yourself, Wally Watchers. There he is. Um, how would you like to hear a song I wrote about myself? No! Well, in that case, I'm out of here. See you later, Wally Watchers. Hit it. Where's Wally? Where is Wally? Where? Where? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. <laughs> Beep. Where's Wally? Did you say him? Where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Did you say him, huh? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. <laughs> Greetings, wild dudes and wild dads. Hmm, slow day. Yeah, I know. Be on the lookout for a topsy turvy tower, a carpet flyer losing his lunch, a stairway to nowhere, and a henway. What's a henway? Oh, about five pounds. <laughs> Look out! I just bought a joke book. One thousand and one narrator zingers. Okay, Woof. Let's see if you can fetch this one. <laughs> Woof's a fast fetcher. <laughs> Oh, yo, Wally, quick, I need your magic stick. What's wrong, Whitebeard? Ah, oh, hey, who? that's better. It was one of those hard-to-reach spots, you know? I'll tell you, hey, you know, as long as I'm here, I might as well tell you there's trouble in the land of the carpet flyers. Wow, Wolf and I have always wanted to go there. We 
Yeah, okay, great. Hey, look, there's a boy with a problem who needs to race for a solution, and I've got a clue. Yeah, I'll tell you, let's see. Oh, hey, I know it's in here somewhere. Ah. Oh, hey, thanks. Yeah, you're okay. Let's see. Beware of the lamp that's rubbed the wrong way. Wait, Whitebeard. Are there any other clues? Hey, don't look at me. Why don't you get a psychic, huh? I'll tell you, these kids today with their short hair, you know? They want everything spelled out for them. Come, Warp. We're off to the land of the carpet flyers. Where's Wally? That's my line! You missed your cue! And that's because I was wearing earplugs to keep from hearing your stupid jokes. That must be why you didn't hear the train whistle blowing! Huh? Would you kindly wait by the portal? Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't say a word, or I'll yank you bald. Wow, look, whoop! The land of the carpet flyers! to look for a boy who needs to race for a solution. Gee, Wolf, that crowd's pretty mad. Let's see what's going on. Oh, your horses. I'm going as fast as I can. Now, now, I'm sure things aren't that bad. It is that bad. <laughs> Great. Now my loom's cracked. I'll have to use the one in the back. My name's Rugnish, and I'm the local rug maker. Sure, you know I am. Everyone's racing carpet was stolen, and they want me to make new ones so they can enter the Rug Burner 500 this afternoon. I'm Wally, and this is Woof. We've always wanted to see the Rug Burner 500, haven't we, Woof? Well, isn't it the most prestigious race in the land? That's right. The winner gets to rub a rare golden lamp. If a genie comes out, he'll be declared king. Can you say that, king? Sure, I knew you could. I was going to enter, but my plans for a special racing carpet were stolen. Now who would do a thing like that? It was Olive Lobby, the biggest crook that ever lived. You know he is. Hmm. It's about time I called for a clue. Hello, Acme Camel Flossing and Pizza? I'd like to order a medium pepperoni with black olives and clues. They guarantee delivery by the end of the show, or we get the clues free. Here's your pizza. Follow this sneaker without being seen. Thanks! What a great clue! Yike! Don't worry, Wolf. Earthquakes don't happen in this territory, so it's probably just another type of life-threatening menace. I uh, I heard about your stolen carpet, Rugnish. That's uh, <laughs> too bad. Uh, I uh, I guess I won't be seeing you when I uh, <laughs> enter the race. Shame on you, Blobby. You stole my plans, just like you stole everyone else's racing carpet. That's not true. <laughs> okay, maybe it's true, but not for long. <laughs> wow, nice shoes. Thanks. They're made just for me, air blobbies. But you'd better stay out of the shoe, you, you guy wearing a striped shirt and hat, you. Do this, Rognish. I'm off to prepare for the race. <laughs> The first clue said, follow the sneaker without being seen. That must mean sneakers, as in shoes. 
and Blobby's footprints go this way. Come on! Sure, just let me put on my sweater. I'll be right there. You know I will. Ladies and gentlemen, join us as our curious crusader arrives at the home of that sneaky sneaker, a la Blobby. <laughs> Can I narrate the pants of a story or what? How will we get in? Ladder to the window? Rope to the roof? I usually just knock. What's, What's the, the password? password? Hmm, now that's a good question. What do you think the password is, Woof? And the clue is... A seed for bread that opens doors. Ragnish? Um, oh, uh, uh, open poppy seed? Oh, not quite. Wally? Hmm, let's see. Open sesame? <laughs> that's right! Good job, Wally. We're off to visit the house of Blobby. <laughs> Guess who heard the password? Open sesame. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's a good thing I came prepared. Don't worry, Yardlaw. Those playful gators will be more than happy to break your fall. Lovely. Neato! It's the Palace Welcoming Committee! Let's go say hi before they try to maul us! Wally, be careful! Wally, Wally! Where's Wally? Can you say that? Sure, I know you can. Hero. He was under attack by a moving mob of marauding meanies. Ooh, I like that M thing. What do we do, Wally? They're upset because their speed and velocity is slowed down considerably by the dirt on their carpets. This should help them. You do it. Ah, a six armed cyclops, much like your standard eight armed cyclops, except for one thing. What's that? They don't have as many arms. Don't worry, Wolf. I'm sure he just wants to borrow some of Mama Waldini's extra strength. Let me guess. Underarm deodorant. Actually, it's underarm, arm, 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 arm deodorant. Ah, thanks, Wally. <laughs> now that's what I call a pit stop. Before you leave, remember, a tisket, a tasket. Your help is in the basket. Got it. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Allah's around here somewhere. You know he is. <laughs> oh, what have we here, intruders? Blobby, you're flying. And on a carpet made out of red bird feathers. <laughs> oh, good guess, Wally. Uh, how'd you figure it out? It was easy. First, there's the vibrant color of the feathers. Second, those red birds over there look pretty mad. This carpet made of feathers has made me as white as a feather. <laughs> and they said it couldn't be done. <laughs> you stole my plans. I was going to collect some pretty feathers and build that rug for myself. You know I was. 
What? Little old thieving, devious, backstabbing me? No, I'd never do that. But when I win the lamp with the genie, maybe I'll let you wish for your plans back. But how do you know there's a genie in the lamp? There has to be a genie in the lamp. It's the only lamp in the story. Makes sense to me. Ah, it's race time. I'd love to stay, but I'm off to win the rug at 500. <laughs> ah, pleasant fellow, but he really should practice his flying. Oh, now I'll never win the race, boys and girls. Don't worry, Rugnish. Wolf and I will let you use our carpet. You will? That's really nice of you, Wally. Let's go. There will be no thread pulling, illegal superpower vacuuming, no foot wiping. Hey, I'm the only one in the race. Then, uh, you can do anything you want. Oh, that's better. Start the race already. Start your carpet. On your mark, get set. Stop. Uh, Hi, mind if we race too? Uh, I, I, uh. Great, let's do it. Go! Dirty trick didn't work, but these mods will. <laughs> Guess what I'm after. Uh -oh. Huh? <laughs> what? Nah, 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 nah. Good thing I carry a spare. See you later, Adla! Toodaloo. much like those found in the Amazon forest, are going to cause us to plunge 100 feet towards certain doom. Oh, oh no. no! Looks like Wally will soon be dropping out of the race. In fact, I wrote a poem about it. I call it The Fall of Wally. Ahem. Wally Fall, come back, you all. Thank you. Let's join our happy hero and his comedic companions as they plummet from the sky and go splat on the ground. You know, you really have a way of making these life-threatening situations sound so pleasant. Oh, I try. <laughs> We're gonna go splat, Wolf. Can you say that? Splat? Sure, I know you can. Splat? <laughs> Let's see. Uh-huh, just as I thought. Ah! Ah! Oops, sorry for dropping in on you, Princess Alalala. That's quite all right, Wally Lee Lee. That's amazing, Wally. How'd you know she'd be passing by at this very second? Easy. I checked the bus schedule. But now we can't win the race. We don't have a carpet. Ah, but I have a clue that will help. Remember, find a comfortable seat and enjoy the race. A comfortable seat. Got it. Thanks, Princess Alalala. You're welcome, Wally Lily. <laughs> One flying couch, please. Amazing. How did you know to come here, Wally? Princess Alalala's clue. Find a comfortable seat and enjoy the race. And what seat could be more 
comfortable than a couch. Ah, it's the only way to fly. There he is. You're weighing me down. Bye-bye, birdies. <laughs> gotcha. Come on out and enjoy the ride. Phew! <laughs> but it's too late. We'll never catch up. We're beat. Can you say that? Beat? Sure. I knew you could. Maybe not. The Cyclops said, a tisket, a tasket, your help is in the basket. Uh. Would you birds mind giving us a little feather power? Five, four, three, two, one, lift off! Who's right behind you? Oh no, they're catching up. I've got to do something. Not with these up your pounds. Uh-oh. Bobby's trying to lighten his load so he can win the race. Oh, oh, they're just killing me. I haven't eaten in five minutes. Oh, poor baby. Great work, guys! We're catching up! Wally's winning! Now, Blubby! Wally! Blubby! Wally! Blubby! No! I'm beat! And the winner is... Bella Blobby! I won! I won! I'll have all the gold, riches, and cupcakes with those little sprinkly things on that I want! <laughs> Hand over the lamp, bub. But Blobby... Silence! Don't argue with your new king. <laughs> Look at that, Wolf. The lamp does have a genie in it. Disturb the genie at the magic lamp! It was I, your master and king! Master Schmaster! You're not the one who becomes king! Besides, you rubbed the lamp the wrong way, and that rubs me the wrong way. Let's party! Hasta la vista, Blobby! <laughs> So that's what Whitebeard's clue meant. Beware the lamp that's rubbed the wrong way. Yes. <laughs> it's mine, all mine. The genie will bring me Wally's stick and all the magic sticks I want. Uh -oh. Would you like to be twisted and wrapped up in a pretty bow, huh? I can think of a better way to spend the afternoon. I can't. See you next week, Adler! I can't wait. Wow, the magic lamp. That's pretty spiffy. Oh, too bad. Another year without a king. Huh? Oh. At long last, the new king has arrived! I am at your service, your highness. Wow, King Ragnish! Who? Me? Wow, Red Ragnish! Yes, you. Can you say that? King Ragnish. Sure, I know you can. <laughs> Look at me. I'm smiling. Thank you, Wally. Wally? Wally? 
gee, I guess he went away. That's too bad. Where's Wally? Find him if you can, Wally Watchers. He left his couch double parked outside. There's Wally. But wait, I have one more joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Betty. Betty who? Betty didn't know we'd find him in the picture so fast. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Hit it. Where is Wally? Where is Wally? Where? Where? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. D. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Did you say him? Where's Wally? Where? 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 Where's Wally? Where? 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 Where's Wally? Where? Where? Where's Wally? Did you say him, huh? Where is Wally? Where? Where? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. Greetings, Wally Watchers! Hey, we're not in Wally's house. What's going on here? Where are we? Gee, Wolf, I wonder why Wizard Whitebeard sent an urgent message for us to come and see him. What a relief! For a minute there, I thought we were cancelled. This is the first time Whitebeard hasn't come to my house. You don't think he's sick, do you, Wolf? I don't know. Well, this must be the place, Wolf. Wizard Whitebeard, are you home? A cave? Give me a break. What kind of self-respecting wizard would live in this dump? Whoa! Hubba, hubba! Nice cave, Whitebeard. Oh, hey, hiya, Wally. What are you doing here, huh? I got your urgent message. Oh, uh, hey, what urgent message? This one here. Oh, hey, pardon me, ladies. Yeah, hey, excuse me. I need to take a look at that. <laughs> I'll tell you, women love me. You know, I don't know what it is. You know, I'll tell you. It could be the dancing. Oh, I'll tell you. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's your invitation to my party. And times are wasted. Oh, hey, hey. I'll tell you. Hey, let's boogie. Lombarda for everyone. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my beard. <laughs> Wow. Are these cave paintings from prehistoric times, Whitebeard? Whitebeard? Oh, yeah, sure, you know. Hey, it's caveman art. You know, you should check it out. Hmm. I've always wanted to go back to the Stone Age. Come on, Whoop. Oh, and uh, hey, by the way, uh, take this with you. Oh, yeah, and uh, this list, too. Wow, this must be important. Oh, yeah, it is. Are you kidding? Who? I'll tell you. It's a reminder for you to stop by the store and pick up some more dip. Who? I'll tell you, this party's rocking. Hey, how are you, baby? Okay? Follow me, Whoop. We're off to the Stone Age. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what happened to Oddlaw. He should be here by now. <laughs> Ah, enjoying the party, Oddlaw. Let's just move along to the next land now, shall we? Yeah. 
Welcome to the land of the cave people, Wally Watchers. Be on the lookout for a trunk holding a trunk, a rock picture show, and a knockout game of baseball. Ah, prehistoric gardening at its finest. Girl, girl, girl! Isn't it time for lunch yet? Okay, okay! Don't get your fur in a knot! I'll sound the lunch signal! Hey! Big boy! Boo! Oh, no! Lunch time! Hey, uh, keep working. You heard me. Keep working. No one said you could stop for lunch. You know, I'm beginning to like this place. Why is that, Oddly Pooh? Because I'm about to set a new record. I've been here almost a minute, and I haven't been trounced, splattered, or run over. I'm Wally, and this is my dog, Wolf. We're from the future. Ooh, did you hear that? Oh, well, they're from the future. That's pretty neat. Um, in, uh, what is the future? Why, the future is something that hasn't happened yet. Oh, that's real handy. Uh, could I ask you something about the future that's very important? Sure. What am I having for dinner tomorrow? It's helpful to plan ahead. I'll be glad to help you. But first, tell me, who are you? No, oh, I'm Skonk, the village leader. Well, it certainly seems like a nice place to live. Oh, yes. We're the most advanced tribe in the land. You're not like the tribe over there. We call it Wheel. You ride. Look at them! Everyone knows that we will never work. I mean, we're the first tribe to ever have animals work for us. But they're not happy. What makes you say that? <gasps> no! Well, now that you mention it, I do sense a little hostility. Tell me about it. Animals build great new things for us, like this walk-in theater. But with animals so unhappy, the theater may never be finished. How long have the animals been working for you? Well, it, it, ever since Karn came to town and sold them to us. Did uh, somebody call me? I'll bet you want to see my new invention, don't you? Sure you do. I knew you'd love it. And how about my newest invention, the automatic toothbrush? See? And no more embarrassing tar pit breath. Oh, yes, that's much better. The fresh, minty smell of boiling lava. Maybe the animals aren't making enough money. Are you kidding? They make so much money that I'm, uh, getting rich. I mean, they're getting rich. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, but, Karn, I don't think they like working for us. Well, uh, I don't understand it. Something must be stirring them up. Yeah, that's it. Because uh, I'm sure they're real happy. So I say you should stop letting the people push you around. Right now, there's a stranger in town who wants the cave people to work you harder than ever. Hey, you're a stranger. Now, I was talking about another stranger. Grrr, what do we do about it? Might I suggest you go on strike? Uh, are you sure? The humans were always nice to me. Uh, Grrr, some more! Forget them! We're going on strike because we're not being paid! <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
when they turn on Wally, I get his stick. <laughs> Nothing could spoil this moment. What do you know? There's always a straggler in the crowd. Pardon me, but I have this sharp pain in my ear. I think it's your elbow. Thank you. Don't mention it. We don't like how we've been treated. We're going on strike. What's a strike? Hold on a minute, I'll check. What's a strike? It's when you don't work unless they pay you more money. Okay. It means we're not working until you pay us some money. But I thought you were paying them plenty of money, Karn. Well, I am. So they can, uh, forget it. Yeah, that's it. F-O-R, get it. Then we're going on strike. Oh, oh no, this is terrible. What do we do now, Wally? Wally? Where's Wally? And you know something? I'm not paid enough money either. Maybe I should go on strike. Well, that's okay with me. Who are you? Your replacement while you're on strike. Huh? This is getting serious. <coughs> Excuse me, where was I? Oh, yes, there's Wally. <laughs> What? No, Wolf, I'm right here. It must be Wally's great, 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 well, you get the idea, grandfather. Hmm. A common but intelligent breed due to inhabit the Earth during the latter part of the 20th century. Right, Bark? Huh? Nice loincloth. You, you know, know, you, you look, look just, just like, like me. me. But if you're really from the Waldini ancestral tree, you'll know our age-old family greeting. I most certainly do. Ready? One, two, three. Hi. Yup, you're my ancestor. We'd better go. As you know, we Wallies are great collectors. That's right. What do you collect? Everything. Bye. Bye. Nice fellow. But he really should shave his back. Uh -huh. wait, wait. Huh? Oh, Wally, our animals have run off. They're on strike. Oh, this is terrible. Who's going to cut our lawns? Who's going to finish our theater? Who's going to do our manicures? No manicures? Gee, this is getting serious. It certainly is. We'll do anything. Why don't you pay the animals more money? What? You're crazy. More money? Never. But I'll be glad to slip an extra bone in their paycheck. I'm sure we can work this out. Maybe if we talk to them. Ah, uh, slow down, buddy. Keep your stripes on. They, uh, want to talk to me. Yeah, that's it. Their old pal, Khan, will calm them down in no time. <laughs> There, I'm sure they feel better now. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's good to know. Let's go say hi, Wolf. Kazan unfair! Kazan unfair! Kazan unfair! Kazan unfair! Say, pal, you look like the unsavory type most people avoid like the plague. Let's team up and get rid of this Wally guy. Why should I team up with you? Well, I'm a low life, and you're a low life. It's our destiny. Yeah, that's it. Besides, my doctor recommends that I stay in bed until later in the episode. I know the feeling. I'll do it. I just thought you'd like to know that the other stranger is going to try and stop your strike. Grr, grr, grr. Lou will handle any troublemakers. Oh, uh, really? Who's Lou? <laughs> 
believe we've already met. It looks like the animals have really put their foot down, Adla. <laughs> foot down and get stand and I kill myself. That's it. That's the last bad joke. I'm going to take care of you once and for all. Oh, Lou! Lou and I are friends. Guess who came prepared and is going to land safely? Oh, yes. Safely inside that nice, cozy lava pit. Uh, uh... Hi. Wolf and I have come to discuss your problems. Grr again! Aren't you the stranger who's been causing all the trouble? Well, I am pretty strange, right, Wolf? Preferably, give me one good reason why we shouldn't stomp you into the ground. Because he's the star of the show. And if you do that, you'll never be on television. We don't care about television. We never even seen a television. Take care of this guy, Lou. OK. Gosh, Whoop, I don't think I've ever seen an angry charging mastodon before. Just look at those razor sharp tusks glistening in the sunlight. Uh oh, Wally Watchers, it looks bad for our heroes. If Lou has his way, the show could be ending early. But if the show ends early, I can grab my board and make it to the beach. This is terrible. Our heroes are about to be trampled by a charging mastodon. No, we're not. Look. Amazing. I don't believe it. Wally, how did you stop that mastodon from charging? Easy. I took away his credit cards. <laughs> hey. Uh-oh. It looks like Lou's luck is really the pits. The tar pits, that is. <laughs> tar pits. Do I add a spark to this show or what? I'm stuck! Help! Help! Wow, Wolf, a real prehistoric tar pit. I'm sinking! Help! Hey, I'll bet your lunch alarm can free Lou. Okay, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> You did it! I'm not even gonna say grr! Don't thank me. Thank your lunch alarm. Thanks. Anytime! But why don't you talk with the villagers about your strike? I'm sure you can work it out. Well, the humans in the village aren't as nice as you are. But they will be in 30,000 years. Well, that's true. Well, let's go. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the village, the no-good, rotten, dirty-dealing Oddlaw is up to what he does best. No good, rotten, dirty dealing. It's my speciality. <laughs> We've got to do something. Without animals, our village is falling apart. Oh, nonsense. OK, so it may need a little work. But remember, Wally is the one making trouble for you with the animals. Hey, you're right. We had no trouble with animals before Wally came. Yeah. We'll teach him a big lesson for bothering us. Yeah. We'll stop all strangers who enter the village, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no. Besides, we can uh, build it ourselves. Yeah, that's it. Then the animals will come back begging. Yeah, that's it. Begging for work. Yeah! I've learned 
skip my lesson on this show. I'll stand over here. Out of the way. Gasp! Well, at least they haven't invented the steamroller yet. treated you like you were, uh, animals. But we're building this by ourselves. So who needs you? Oh, it's fun! We'll be crushed! Oh. It's nothing to worry about. A little squishing never hurt anyone. Yeah, that's it. Lou, could you help out? No. Oh, come on. For me? Uh, well, all right. Lou's a really nice guy, once you get to know him. Oh, well, if Lou's gonna help, I guess we could, too. I don't know. What do you think? could give them a hand. No way. Forget it. Nada, nada. They're just dumb animals. Yeah, that's it. Oh, sorry, but you were a big help. What do we have to do to have you come back and work for us again? Well, you might try paying us for crying out loud. But I thought Karn was supposed to pay you. Ah, uh, uh, going to, yeah. Uh, but there's a person in my family with a uh, medical problem. Gur, 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 and go some more. I'll say, gur in a hit. Ow, ow, ow. Funny, how ever since that, uh, Wally came around, I don't feel so well. Believe me, you'll get used to it. Welcome to the Caveman Theater. Please check your clubs at the door. Thank you. Ooh. Ah. The new theater's a big hit, Wally. But it still feels like something's missing. Hmm. Aha! The corn that Whitebeard gave me. What's that for? Easy. Popcorn. Aha! Mmm. Mmm. Popcorn's good. Wally. Wally. Where Wally? He no here. Where he be? <laughs> Just thought I'd throw in a little Stone Age narration. There's Wally. Hey, I thought I told you to beat it. Hey, 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 what's your problem, Buster? You could never a supermarket opening. Get out of here. <clears throat> oh, yes. See you next time, Wally Watchers. Bye. Now, where were we? Oh, oh yes, Bill oh, yeah. this. You now, it's in my us. job, oh, yes, Take uh, your story on the road. You got that? Hit it. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Did you say him? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Did you say him, huh? Where, 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 where is Wally? Where is Wally? Where, where? Where's Wally? Where's Wally?
Howdy doody, Wally fan clubbers! Time to join our hero for another exciting slam bang rootin' tootin' episode! Great trick, Wolf! You're becoming a regular wonder dog! Wonder what kind of reward I should give you. 500 bucks! Wolf, these are gourmet dog treats made by the finest French chef in Pittsburgh. They're irresistible. Catch! What? <laughs> no problem, Wolf. I'll just move the couch and... Oh, hi. Oh, hey, how you doing, Wally, huh? Good to see you, Whitebeard. Time for another adventure? Oh, you got that right, kiddo. And it's gonna be a trip with a twist. Meet Miss Pixie. Hey, okay. Miss Pixie. Oh, my goodness, my gracious. <laughs> well, I don't know how I ended up in there. <laughs> Miss Pixie, I want you to meet Wally. Glad to meet you, Miss Pixie. He's going with you to the land of the Vikings. Hey, that sounds great. What are we going to do there? Uh, now listen carefully, all right? I'll try to be as cryptic as possible. If you need any help along the way, unusual horns will save the day. <laughs> See ya. That's pretty cryptic. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Oh, oh, gracious, I hope you can help me. You see, if I don't find the magical musical golden horn, I'll never be a full-fledged wizard. This is my last chance. You'll do just fine. We'll leave right away. Right, 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 right. Oh, sorry, Wolf. I forgot about your doggy treat. I'll just move the couch and... Let me help you with my magic. I just finished a class in live... Uh, I finished a class in levitation. And rise over stuffed couch in the air. Higher and higher. Way up there. Not bad. Oh, rubber. Uh... Now I have a couch with a view. Come on, Miss Pixie. Let's get on our way. Well, it was about time you got here. Oh, mind your own beeswax. I don't have time to gab. I must get to the portal before it... Oh, something tells me I should stay in bed. Wally Watchers, keep your eyes wide open for a woman carrying two Vikings and two women braided together. Oh, what a lovely place. It seems so peaceful here. <laughs> or maybe not. My gracious, the village is attacking the Vikings. I mean, I mean, the Vikings are attacking the, the village. Get a move on, you scabbers, scalawags. Speaking of scalawags, it looks like Adlar is up to his old tricks. I say, old chap, I've always had admiration for you robust macho Viking fellows. I wonder if I might apply for a position with your group. Position? Perhaps something in middle management? You want the job? I'll give you a job. <laughs> Here, carry this and walk this way. <laughs> you shouldn't be here, folks. You're in the middle of a Viking raid. You better go right away. But gracious, we can't. I must find the Gilded Mosaic alone. I mean the Moldy Surgical Cone. I mean the... Oh, you mean the Golden Musical Horn. Yes, that's it. No problem. I can help you with that if my people, the Glurbs, survive this attack. Better come with me. We've had 22 Viking raids this month and three since yesterday morning. This must be your busy season, huh? <laughs> Nothing to uh, worry about. I have just the brick. I mean, trick. So the Vikings can't find you. I'll simply make everyone invisible. 
Bravo. Miss Pixie's magic seems to have a pattern. None of it works. Oh, dear me. I failed again. Not at all. Lars, come over here. What am I supposed to do in my underwear? Just stand right over here. <laughs> and we better finish the job before they try climbing over again. Well, I mean, I, what, what, what do we, I mean, I, what, good idea. Vikings are extremely superstitious. This ought to frighten them away. All right. Not just any kite, a giant Chinese dragon kite. It's authentic. See what? Raven Maria? seem to be attached to one of your smelly Viking chaps. Would you mind unhooking me, please? Sure. <laughs> and I've got the place for you on my ship. Oh, thank you so much. But I changed my mind, so I'll be on my way. Ta-ta. <laughs> Not the so fast, champ. Take this all. Or what? Or you'll be eating strand of food for the rest of your life. Oh, well, since you put it so pleasantly. Shavovsk! And as the Viking ship sails away, we hear the cheers of the relieved Fleur villagers. Cheers! Hooray! Hoopy! And so you see, for Miss Pixie to become a full-fledged wizard, she must find the magical golden horn. Golden horn? What golden horn? Oh, yes, that golden horn. Well, that's what I'm here for, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, I can tell you where it is, but you're asking for big trouble. You must sail to the edge of the earth. The edge? Great! I'm ready to go. How about you, Woof? <laughs> Now, it's a long, foolish journey. It could take months. Hey, hey, hey. We've only got 13 minutes left in this show. Why, I have just the thing. Abracadabra. Dabracadabra. It worked. Not exactly. Oh, uh, oh yes, Abida, Abidi. Oh, now I remember. I'm supposed to say the magic words backwards. Abracadabra, Dabracadabra. Miss Pixie? Abba, Abba, Dee. Whoopee! Listen, Whoop, a foghorn. We must be on the right track. Godzilla movie. Oh. My goodness, I can't read this without my boo by uh, bow follicle, bow bow fickles, uh, bicycles. I mean, my reading glasses. Wait, this. Oh, how thoughtful. Here's something, a magic spell. Look into my blazing eyes, and I will shrink you down to size. Oh, dear, I did it again. Oh, oh, oh! 
What a neat trick! Hey, trick! That's it! Woof's doggy treats! He's not after us! I bet he just wants Woof's doggy treats! Here, boy! Ah, yum! Delicious! <laughs> hey, you sound friendly enough. Uh, of course I am. I never hurt anyone, except for that time I got the hiccups and swallowed that little fishing village. <gasps> I'm here to give you your next clue. Look for help from a woman with horns aplenty. That should be easy. But where can we find her? Just set your sails for that mysterious island over there. And so, Wandering Wally arrived on the island. Coming up is one of the most exciting parts of the Wally series. In fact, in the entire history of cartoons. Hey, it's a personal opinion, okay? Gracious you. I mean, gracious me. I don't understand why the sea serpent sent us here. I haven't seen one woman yet. <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> Brunhilde is my name, the Viking queen so fair. Lars is my man, he has a lot of hair. Hi there, we've been looking all over for you. Oh, for dainty little me? Yes, you see, I am, um, well, you know, it was, well, you know what, how it, uh, well, on the other, from the beginning, uh, on the... Oh, yeah, you want to know where the golden horn is? You'll help us find it? Yeah, sure. My pleasure. You see, my husband Lars stole it years ago, but when he learned it could somehow protect the villagers from the Vikings, he sailed to the edge of the world and threw it over. Do you know how we can get to the edge of the world? Yeah, sure. You take Pico Boulevard, turn left into the ocean, keep going straight, and believe me, you can't miss it. It's so nice of you to help, especially since we're total strangers. Strangers? Hmm. Hey, you are strange. Lars, we got a bunch of total strangers in our camp. Come on, guys. Let's go get them. Yeah, let's go. Indeed! Where is Wally? He's done it again, folks! Well, you know what to do! Find him! If you can't find him, it'll go on your permanent record! Have you found Wally yet? I'll give you a hint. He's right under your nose. So you'd better not blow it. There he is. Go get him, you boneheads. <laughs> Edge of the Earth? Here we come! How about some more of your magic wind power, Miss Pixie? Oh, yes! Dear me, the cloud wet my purse. Harder! But we're paddling as hard as we can. We should be arriving at the edge of the earth any minute. And that's where our mind find the tragic, I mean magic, going, horn, and become a bull-pledged gizzard. Miss Pixie, you'll make a fine wizard. Please welcome us. You junior villains in the audience observe a master at work. The edge of the earth 
Idiots, stop paddling! And so our heroes arrived in the ice world. I don't know about you, but it gives me the narrating shivers. Goodness, I mean gracious, what is that noise? Sounds like it's coming from over there. An ice castle? Hey, great! Let's go inside. Woof, a real ice castle! Completely unknown to the natives of the Sahara Desert. Dear me, the music is coming from that direct Durang, Durang, over there. Maybe if we listen long enough, it'll turn into a tune. <laughs> Poor Rover. I mean, Scott. Spot. You're cold. I have some magic that'll warm you up. I hear the sound of a nasty jab. Someone is melting my castle. Intruders! Trespassers! I am the great Ice King Eden. How dare you defrost my castle? Don't worry. Miss Pixie can fix it with her magic. Well, I, of course. I mean, maybe. Aha, this might do it. A magic oral thermometer. All I have to do is give it a magic shake and bring the temperature down. Oops, I shook it east and west instead of north and south. <laughs> what a relief. My castle is saved. <laughs> this calls for a little music. Yes, as little music as possible. Well, I've been trying to learn to play this thing since I found it, but I just can't get the hang of it. Maybe the tuba just isn't for you. Why don't you try this? A rabbit? Anyone can play a kazoo. Go on, give it a try. <laughs> Eureka! For my first number, I will play William Tell's Overture. <laughs> Terrific! I guess you won't be needing that magical golden horn then, huh? Nope. Take it. Go ahead. It's yours. <laughs> A short time later, we find our heroes safely back on top of the Earth. Needless to say, the writer of this show failed geography to ice. Help! Help! Oh, no! The Vikings are raiding the poor villagers again. Aha! Uh -huh. I have an idea. <laughs> Miss Pixie, remember what Brunhilde said about the horn protecting the villagers? Yes, absolutely. Well, uh, no. That's okay. Do you think you can play the magical musical horn? I don't know. I never played a musical uh, instrument in my life, but I'll give it a try. Remedy Fort! <laughs> It. After all these years of suffering and humiliation, the walking stick is really mine. Uh, I'm actually touching it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Gee, Villikers, if we only had that magic horn, we'd never have to worry about the Vikings again. Here, I want you to have this. You need it more than I. Why, Miss Pixie, that's a very nice thing to do. Dear me, I hope Wizard Whitebeard isn't too dis dis disappointed in me. I guess I'll never be a wizard. Wizard Whitebeard! Miss Pixie, you made beautiful music. Oh, I'll tell you, I can't wait to get the CD, you know? You have proven yourself to be a worthy wizard. Here's your diploma. Gracious, I can't believe it. I mean, I can't believe it. Oh, thank you, wizard. And thank you, Waldo. I mean, Wally. Where's Wally? Oh, yeah, hey, where is Wally? Hey, quick, everyone, check your pocket. Oh, he's done it again. Wally's disappeared. Try to find him, because I'm responsible. To celebrate finding Wally, I'd like to entertain you with a little musical number. <laughs> See you next time! Hit it. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Did you say him? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Did you say him, huh? Where, 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 where is Wally? Where is Wally? Where, where? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. <laughs> Greetings, Wally Watchers, and welcome to Wenda's Bijou Theater. Let's head inside. Excuse me, but it's eight dollars for narrators to get in. Eight dollars? But I'm under twelve. Hi, Wenda. We left right after we got your call. What's wrong? It's Whitebeard. He's inside the theater, and he's in trouble. Whitebeard's in trouble? Come on, Woof. Rocky Milk. Oh, hey, oh, hey. Uh, how'd I get up here? Hey, careful with that briefcase, buddy, okay? Ooh, rough. Wow, Whitebeard must be stuck in the movie. I'll go give him a hand. Whitebeard, what are you doing up here? Oh, hiya, Wally. Hey, I was just looking for you when I wound up here. You're in a movie, Whitebeard. I am? Hey, I guess that makes me a star. All right. Hey, want my autograph? How about a diet tip? How you doing, kid? This way, Whitebeard. Hey, hey, I'm out of here. See you later. I'll be back in time for the sequel. Oh, excuse me. Hi, Whitebeard. Oh, hey, how do you like that, huh? My first movie, and already people recognize me. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Anyway, Wally, I just got back from the land of the Living Museum. They're having a problem there, and maybe you can help. Gee, Wenda, would you like to come along? Oh, there's always trouble on your adventures, Wally. I know. Isn't it great? <laughs> you think trouble's great? You think danger's fun? <laughs> Even when trouble's knocking at my door, you can always find a smile on my face. And just when the thunderstorm begins to pour, you can always find a smile on my face. I'm ready for adventure, always on the go. I'll be there to help against the meanest foe. Don't have to be afraid, cause I always know that things will turn out right. Even when it lasts in a race, you always find a smile, always find a smile, always find a smile on my face. Smile, smile, smiling, smiling. Even when I'm surrounded and there's trouble ahead, you can always find a smile on my face. 
face. You'll always find a smile, always find a smile, always find a smile on my face. When do we leave? Before you go, let me give you a clue to help you out. A picture's worth a thousand words. You ought to be in pictures and all that jazz. Hey, okay, it's all right. Got it. Oh, hey, I gotta go, you know. I'm missing my screen debut. Oh, I'll tell you, a star is born. They like me now. They really like me. Come on, you two. Let's go. Okay, I'll be with you in a second. Oh, running late, aren't we, Adler? No time to talk. I've got to follow them into the land. Welcome to the land of the Living Museum, Wally Watchers. Be on the lookout for a puckering picture, a mummy's mummy, and a leaking watercolor. Look, Woof, the exhibits are alive. Huh? I haven't seen you in here before. That's because I haven't been here before. Oh, yeah. Well, in that case, where were you on the night of June 18th, 1954? I wasn't born yet. Actually, that's a good answer. I'm Wally, and these are my friends Wenda and Woof. The wizard Whitebeard told us that there was a problem here. Aha! Uh, actually, you say that, but I don't know that the wizard Whitebeard sent you. Actually, I don't know who the wizard Whitebeard is. We don't know who you are either. Actually, I'm the museum curator. The name's Doki. Okie dokie. Got it. Okie dokie. Yes. Never mind. There's big trouble in the museum. Someone's been stealing all sorts of rare treasures from the exhibits. If this keeps up, I'll have to shut down the museum. I'll be ruined. Adler, don't you do anything other than follow Wally around and try to steal his stick? Well, I do take time out for an occasional thrashing. <laughs> I'd like to see you try to squirt me now. It's times like these that I wish I hadn't dropped out of truck driving school. Actually, this is the latest work by the famous artiste and part-time chimney sweep, Norward Ooh. Hmm, interesting brush strokes, reminiscent of the renowned Dutch master Ares. Thank you. I appreciate that from the bottom of my artistically superior heart. Well, I'd like to get a picture of a real live artist. Well, actually, I wouldn't call myself an artiste, but I do dabble in a little paint by numbers occasionally. She's talking about me! Okay, okay! Ah, uh, wait a second. That's much better. Cheese! Tell me, Yoki, what was the last thing that was stolen? Uh, gee, it was Nero's fiddle. I had to close the exhibit. In that case, then it's time to visit the city that's never in the same place. Rome. Get it, Wenda? It's always Roman. <laughs> I got it, Wally. We were all Roman. Wow, here we are in ancient Rome. What a great place. The chariots, the classic architecture, uh, Wally, what about those gladiators that are charging toward us? Oh, they're nice, too. Wally Watchers? Uh -huh. Excuse me. Wally and Wenda Watchers. <coughs> okay, okay, okay. 
Wally Wender and Wolf Watchers. Shish, everybody's a star. Ah, oh, isn't it refreshing to see a group of fun-loving guys who really enjoy their job? <laughs> is correct. Aren't you lions supposed to be turned loose? Aw, oh, the little guys must really want to play. I just knew we'd get into trouble. Now what are we gonna do? On guard! Touche! You just love museums. Uh, Wally, what about him? <laughs> I know just what he's looking for. A wind-up mouse. Let's go speak to Nero. Raw, raw. Oh, give it up, Oddlaw. We know that it's you. You do? How's this? <laughs> he likes it. Oh, uh... ah! Run along now, Oddlaw. Thanks for the advice. Yeah! It's Nero, the ancient emperor of Rome. Did you know that he'll decide whether or not we live with a simple thumbs up or thumbs down? That's nice to know. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Et tu, Wally. I'd play you a tune on my fiddle, but it was stolen. And you just can't play a tuba with a bow. I've had the same problem before. Hmm, white paint. What's this doing here? Did you find anything else? Well, I did find this hat. Very interesting. That's the museum alarm. Let's go. Bye, Nero. It too, Wally. It too, Wally. Whoa! Am I glad you're here. It's terrible, horrible, awful, rotten even. Sounds bad, Woof. <laughs> Actually, it is. One of Cleopatra's treasures has been stolen. Now I'll have to close down the Egyptian exhibit, too. Smile! Actually, I don't see how these things are being... <gasps> Jeez. Stolen. No one could possibly get them through our security system. Don't worry, Oki. We'll have a look around the Egyptian exhibit and see what we can find. This exhibit is just like ancient Egypt. Ah, yes. The Great Pyramids, the Sphinx... Oh. And that man with the attractive scowl who looks like he wants to enslave us. Hey, hold it right there. What do you know about the Queen's missing treasure? Not much, but we're here to look for clues. Ooh, I don't care. I'm gonna... Oh, all right, huh? ready. Wow, it's Cleopatra, Queen of the Nile. What happened, Your Highness? Somebody stole my golden pussycat. It was taken from the pyramid where the royal treasures are kept. Ooh, I'll bet they did it, Your Highness. I can find out where they hid the pussycat. I can whop them, whap them, wiggle them. Huh? Uh, excuse me, but they've already left. They have? Where'd they go? <laughs> find them! Where's Wally?
Where's Wenda? Where's Wolf? Why am I talking like this? Did you find Wally? He's by that tree. No. He's behind that rock. No. Where the heck is he? Hieroglyphics. Did you know that each symbol represents... Excuse me, Wally, uh, but shouldn't we be leaving? <laughs> Don't worry, Wenda. They're just excited because we're going to have an old-fashioned sandstorm. What sandstorm are you talking about, Wally? <laughs> that one. <laughs> Let's take a look inside. Before we go any further, I better warn you two about something. Watch out for booby traps. Yay! I'll keep that in mind, Wally. Aha! Look at this! More paint drops and a carnation. Do you know what this means? No. Neither do I. I just thought I'd ask. It's a little dark in here. I hope these pictures turn out. <laughs> wow, a real live baby Egyptian mummy. Maybe he'll try to put a curse on us or rip us apart limb from limb. <laughs> Oh, did you hurt yourself, little fella? And this lollipop should help, too. Wasn't that sweet? Oh, I'd love to see the happy look on his face. If he had one. Cheer up, Wolf. I've got a lolly bone for you. You've been gone for a while, Ludlow. I know. I don't heal as fast as I used to. What is that? I'll take that, you walking pile of bandages. Outlaw, I don't believe that even you'd stoop so low as to steal candy from a baby. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I amaze myself, too. <laughs> Lovely. It's his mother, and I believe she wants to speak to me. Good idea. We wouldn't want the tyke to see any unnecessary violence. <laughs> Aw, don't you just love the sound of children laughing, Oddlaw? Oh, about as much as the sound of my dentist's drill. Oh, come on. Actually, please. Can we talk about this just a little bit more? Please? No! We want to do any Pretty, please? No! Okay, then. Bye. Quick! Norwood! The customers are after me! They want their money back! You gotta do something! Of course! For you! Thanks. Hey. Oh no! Okie is in trouble! He's a good guy and he's going to be stumped! What will he do? I mean... just about popped a vessel. Hi, Oki. Oh, thank you for coming back. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I think he's happy to see us. 
Ah. Oh no, not another alarm. Yes, the Maltese aardvark is missing. Don't you mean the Maltese falcon? Uh, nope, that was stolen last week. Rats, he's gone! Look, a glove! And more paint drops, too! Whoa! You gotta do something! Okay, what if I told you I know what happened to the treasure? You do? Wenda, can I see the pictures you've been taking? Uh, well, sure, Wally. Why? Because combined with these clues, they tell what happened to the artifacts. Whoa, how? Well, I noticed when we found the hat, the flower, and the glove, Norwood's self-portrait was missing the same items. And when I saw Wenda's picture of the empty portrait, that explained the paint drops. I realized that the portrait is alive. Wow. Going somewhere, Norwood? Yeah, I'm taking my portrait home. Not so fast, Mr. Yuck. That's ew. Oops, pardon me. Watch. Whoa! The missing treasures were hidden in the portrait. Aha! Uh -huh. That's what Whitebeard meant when he said you ought to be in pictures. Right, and a picture is worth a thousand words. Wow! Oh, I get it. Oh, yeah, he was going to. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. I, he would. I, oh. What was he going to do? Take the picture home and remove the treasures. Yeah! What a nasty couple of guys. Guys! Thanks, Wally. You really are a swell bunch of stripes. Thank Wenda. It was her pictures that solved the crimes. Ah, uh, thanks, Wenda. And could you please take my picture with Wally? Okie dokie, Oki. Why the... Uh, oh, great! Uh, come over here, Wally. Wally? Wally? He's gone. Where's Wally? You know, they might have a narrator exhibit here. And if they do, I might be in it. Oh, isn't that exciting? I'm going to have a look. There's Wally! Hit it. Where, 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 where is Wally? Where, where is Wally? Where, where? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. <laughs> 